taking away people's incomes like a whole John Wayne type group. But if it's just someone that like, Hey guys, I'm just getting the stream started. I'm listening to Lauren. Uh we're supposed to be gaming in a few minutes. Uh can you guys hear me okay? I've messed with the mic a little bit. I know there was like a hissing noise that was there before. Uh, I don't know how to get rid of it. I'm having a couple of tech, audio tech guys chime in on it. Oh god, where is that coming from? Oh, here we go. Had two windows open. There we go. Hold on. Still setting up. I'm running a little bit late. But I am here. Um, I'm gonna tweet the leak. Hi guys. Hi, you're early. I mean, I'm actually late. I was supposed to be here at like seven, but I had to uh, finish up a few tech things. So, yeah. But still listening to Lauren in the background because seeing, seeing if she'll uh, notice my message. I'm the one who's late, but. It seems like the Russians are doing Griner, which Biden administration is doing to nonviolent things. Okay, so he's actually. Day six protesters. Hard for us to say indignation, and the same thing is going on here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. See, that's a good point. I actually agree with Vanessa. You know, our, our you can get angry about the Britney uh, Griner stuff. Also, I don't know anything about the Britney Griner stuff she's there, talking about. By the way, I just know the Alex Jones you stuff a little know bit. Said about the stuff. You know what Queen. Oh, thanks. This is accurate. Smash like, please. Yeah, you know, I was watching Anna earlier, and she was sa talking about, like, smash and like, but and I was like, I should tell people to like the stream more. Totally neglect to do that. I don't know. It just feels, like, cringy to ask people to like things. Like, I'm going to be honest. It just feels cringy. Like, no shame for Anna doing it or anyone else doing it. It's like, I should be doing it. But the reason I tend not to is just because it's like, smash that like button if you want to see more content like this. Like, it just doesn't feel natural to me. I'm just not a hype beast kind of person. Not that you have to be to say like the video, but it's something about like saying smash, like it's too much for me. I gotta like tone it down. Like, like the live stream, I guess, if you feel like it. I guess, if you want. Um, Brittany Griner, cautionary tale, hey America, is that a person? I have no idea who Brittany Griner person is. Anyway, I'm waiting on Lauren to uh, notice my message. She's in the middle of ranting to her chat. Hi, NVIDIA. Thank you for the $5. By the way, sorry, guys. I forgot to disable the videos. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I don't think we're going to do videos to stream unless, like, Lauren totally forgets about me or something like that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where are you? It's over here. Media sharing settings. Disable. There we go. And then... Alert delay disabled. Okay, cool. There we go. Your your messages should automatically pop up now when you guys donate. Um, video five dollars paying my simp tilf. I've never heard that word in my life. What is a what is a tilf? Okay, that's really loud. Is that loud for you guys or is it just on my end? Um, guys, go spam Lauren in her chat. I typed a hem in her chat. Hashtag free Alex, 199 super chat. Yeah, I have, I heard that he was under like, pressure. he's pregnant or something. And so like, they're gonna send him to jail for nine months or whatever for like, Sandy Hook. I don't know, like, is it because like, he got someone pregnant? So that's why you're sending him to jail for like nine months, and then like, um, like it because kids take nine months, and he and he like said Sandy Hook was false and didn't happen. Is that why? Is that what it is? And the 
point of the game is to curate the media. So we're gonna learn. I, I haven't played it before. So we're okay, gonna we're gonna game together. She's about to call me. You're curating the media, making sure all the people are. Her jury? Wait, Alex Jones is getting a jury? How many? Oh, okay. Apparently not, because he never admitted to it. I just got intel. So he doesn't. Ha he's not gonna get multiple juries or whatever. Why? Like, how come Alex Jones gets per jury, but like nobody else gets multiple juries? Like, Johnny Depp only got one jury. Doesn't even make sense. What are y'all playing? Um. Uh, it's called. Shh, let me see. News game. It's some news game. I don't know what it's called, but someone has suggested it a while back. We tried to play it, but then her computer couldn't run it. So now we're going to play it. So yeah, um, whenever she's ready, we're going to do that. Um, eh. You are so gorgeous. Hi. Only on, only on the first day I wash my hair. On the other days, it's like, uh, eh, depends who you ask. Um, Alex just got $4 million fine today by the jury. Is that true? And tomorrow jury is awarding more money for punitive damages. Does he have $4 million? Like, how do they, how do they award these things? Are they just, like, rolling a fucking dice and throwing it? Because that's what it seems like. It seems like they just randomly decide how much money to give people during these lawsuit things. Doesn't seem to actually be formulated or calculated. Like, it just seems random. Am I wrong here? Like, does anyone here know how it's calculated? They sent InfoWars make 800k a day in its peak. Oh, really? Wow, that's insanity. Still, though, $4 million a lot. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens with that. I haven't been following it closely, closely, but I've seen some of it. I saw, like, how his lawyer, like, essentially double-crossed him. That was fucked up. Like... Can he sue his lawyer for that? What was with that? Like, his lawyer gave the, the opposing lawyer his fucking phone? Are you... Like, that's dumber than live streamers actually revealing their password. Like, that's that's actually ten times dumber than that. Five dollars super chat for monkey at 15. I like these collab streams. You do? That's good. Um, the jury was asking for over a billion dollar in damages because they were low-key knew he oh okay so like a billion dollars in damages okay therapy does not cost that much for the sandy hook parent okay like there, I, i've been to therapy on and off for for uh m most of my adolescent years okay i think i think i know how much therapy costs and it's not a billion fucking dollars a billion dollars is gonna bring the kid back or whatever is it not one billion how much was it then how much? It was 150 million they're asking for. Oh my god! Still, like that's that's ridiculous. Like, why would you? Why would they need 150? Like, okay, okay, guys. Realistically, after like let's say like a few million dollars, what is that parent gonna do with that money? Like, why would they? That's just excessive. Like, what are they gonna do with that? Literally, what are they gonna do? Please explain. Okay, let me let me post that I'm live on Instagram too cuz I forgot. Therapy is expensive, drinking is cheaper. Okay, no, that's so true though. That's so true. Okay, I I'm not saying become an alcoholic, but I am saying if you do drink svetka. That's my Ukrainian I mean Russian coming out. We are no longer Ukrainian. Um Hold on, let me see what this is. I forgot to post that I was live. I got my nails done today with Lila. Forgot to post about it. You have to post about it or it didn't happen. Ew. I hate when filters make me look like, um, like I just got plastic surgery. Like I much prefer the pink sparkly filter. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, 
I just wish I just had a bot to do this for me instead. Like you can auto post, but like it, you still have to choose like what photo you want and all that. It's like you can't really auto. Because if you auto post on like Twitter and stuff, it doesn't put a thumbnail for you and then less people click. It's so dumb. Like there should just be an app for this where like quartering is there an app for this where it's like one app and you open it and then you post the picture and then the link and then it posts to all your socials because like i swear to god you guys complain about this 10 minute intro and the reason there's a 10 minute intro is because that's how long it takes for me to post everywhere like the fucking picture of the thumbnail so it goes in the algorithm and then the link and then doing that rinse repeat on four different platforms oh so annoying Tito's for mixers and kettle for your first second drink. Um, I'm not a pussy, so I don't use mixers. Um, okay, you're, okay, quartering about to set me off on another rant. Okay, so you guys remember how I made the TikTok about if he drinks Starbucks, I'm sorry, that's not your boyfriend, he's your girlfriend. Okay, so in that same sentiment, if a guy needs a chaser, like... I'm sorry, like, why don't you just announce that you suck dick? Why don't you announce that you just, like, cock at the like a chicken <clears throat> a chicken i forgot we're not over a two hour mark a chicken in your throat okay like it doesn't make okay guys i never have chasers if you need a chaser and i don't i, I and you're a guy like i'm sorry i don't know it's like i i respect you less now like i can't help it it's not a choice i didn't choose to get an ick from that but it's an ick if a guy needs a chaser it is an ick that is an ick because I know people who don't drink alcohol and they don't need chasers. So if you need a chaser, that's an ick. Like you're literally like you lose testosterone with every, think about it. Like you're drinking sugar as a chaser. Like the only acceptable chaser is water or sparkling water. If you need sugar, you need to, oh, I'm sorry. You need a little lollipop. You, oh, you need a chaser cupcake. You need a little chocolate bar with that little bitch. No chasers. Chasers for men for alcohol should literally be illegal. I'm going to ask Lauren about this when she calls me on Discord in a sec. I'm literally going to ask her about it. I'm going to ask if her husband needs a chaser. I promise you guys she's going to say no because she wouldn't date a little bitch. She's going to validate. Jessica, Jessica, does Daniel, her husband, does Daniel need a chaser? Does he drink with a chaser, Jessica? If he, I know he probably doesn't even drink. But like, if, when he drinks, does he need a chaser? Jessica said, I just drink my tequila straight from the bottle, right? Right? Quartering, whoa, no chaser for your Bloody Marys. I don't really drink, I don't like Bloody Marys, to be honest. Um, I just drink my liquor straight. I will drink any liquor and I will just drink it straight when I drink. But I've decided to no longer, maybe, maybe if it's for a stream, I'll drink. But like, other than that, I decided that I'm going to officially quit drinking alone, uh, especially after um, not drinking so long. It's really made me realize a lot of things going on a drinking break. I really recommend it, guys. Like, go on like a 50 day drinking pause. It really puts perspective for like your habits. And like, for me, I didn't realize that I was stress drinking. So like, there's a lot of times where I shouldn't have drank, I feel like, where I did drink. So I think that you guys should um, take a drinking break and see how you feel. Because you, you will not be aware of it all the time unless you actually take the break. Because I wasn't aware. Like, I was, um, I would just, like, it, literally, like, if I was in a bad mood, I'm, I'm, like, bored. I would be like, oh, I'll just have a shot. So, and it also feels way more gratifying if you take a break. And then you were to go back to it. Like, that's way more gratifying than just like, oh, yeah, I'm bored. I'm going to drink. Or like every time there's a social gathering where everyone's drinking, you're going to drink. Like, actually, just opt to say no sometimes. It, it will actually make you feel better. To our super chat from Kino Corner. Hello. White Claws are the superior drink of choice. Um, that's called a white girl drink. If you're, if you're a guy and you drink White Claw, like... I'm sorry, like, do you need a tampon? Like, I don't have any with me right now. You're going to have to go to the women's restroom and ask for one and shove it up your ass for having such a feminine choice taste in drinks. Holy shit. I don't even drink White Claw anymore, but that's because of allergies. But still, it has corn in it, citric acid. Uh, monkey head, 15, $2. I'm 26-year drinking break. Yeah, you never drink. 
I swear, all my immediate friend group, they they don't drink. Like, nobody really do. Like, literally, we had a birthday party. Think Before You Sleep had a birthday party, and we had, like, I don't know, like, 10, 15 people there, and, like, literally nobody there drinks. So, like, he just didn't even bother buying alcohol. Like, just nobody drank. Because you don't have to drink at every gathering. That's something that I really wish was talked about more. I think alcohol has become, like, super over-the-top normalized like too much like way too much like everyone is like a fucking alcoholic but it's like so normal that nobody even talks about it it's kind of like saying you're like a porn addict everyone just laughs at it uh spectral citizen 10 hour super chat i kind of only like sweet drinks now tbh yeah throw them out spectral don't drink soda don't drink any of that sugar shit that's what they want you to do that's what the government wants you to do don't do it they want you to drink it so that you'll buy more sugary drinks get addicted and so they make money on taxes that's what it is it's all government dan holland five five pounds super chat if you need lime and salt to drink tequila you're a woman in your relationship okay lime isn't unnecessary but it does make it taste better and so does salt it's not necessary it's completely unnecessary most time when i drink it i don't but if it's there i'll i'll opt for it it's not like the same as drinking a soda or a white claw that's not the same like this is actually uh it's it's savory it's flavorful it's not just like i'm a child like it's like okay you drink white claw you drink chasers with your alcohol like do you also eat snacks during the day like are you fucking five like do you want a little fucking do you want do you need a lunchable like what is wrong with you grow up uh five dollars oh yeah you read that one read that one i think i'm up to date nvidia five dollars super chat you can use ifttt.com send out posts to twitter facebook discord when you go live or make other automations spreadsheet like track supers really hold on let me write that down ifttt.com cool thank you that's a weird website i'm gonna like visit it on a proxy <laughs> okay let me scroll i missed so much of chat There's probably so many people talking and i didn't even fucking see it Hi, Nina. Have you noticed any changes to your accuracy to stop drinking? Uh, yeah, it reduced. It's not completely gone, but it did reduce. Um, but that's also because I'm drinking more water. Does Lauren know you're ready? I think she's waiting for you. Yeah, I'm ready. What does she mean? I typed in her chat. Um, spitting facts, to be honest. Yeah, I know I'm right. Tell that to Nick Ricada. Nick? drinks whiskey straight though I, i've never seen him like if he used a chaser he'd be fat he drinks like it all the time on stream he would be fat if he had a chaser every time like you're fat if you need a chaser you're fat stop stop yourself from becoming obese stop acting diabetic um i'm in the middle oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> i almost read that out loud alex jones lawyer the one who accidentally leaks a reeling text said sandy hook parents deserve just eight dollars in damages <laughs> oh my god this is a real article hold on hold on look at that that is so funny just eight dollars what does the eight dollars cover like their phone bill why eight dollars That is so funny. It doesn't even... Wait. The money was revealed by the attorney closing arguments. They, asked, they were asking $150 million damages. You were right, chat. Um, yeah, I don't know why he picked $8 in particular, but that's still funny. Oh, she's calling. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. I don't have my notifications on because I'm popular. Sorry. Fair enough. I understand. Yep. Too too important for me. Okay. Can I ask you a question? I I feel like you just know what all Britneys are up to at any given moment, right? Why do you know so many Britneys? Yeah. So do you know Britney Griner? Uh, no. Come on. Well, all Britneys knew each other. Britney Griner is the basketball WNBA star that is facing jail time in Russia right now, or not facing, has just been like sentenced with jail time in Russia, uh, nine years. 
Anyways, I'm trying to figure out if Griner was born a woman or not. Okay, can you like, can you share your uh, cam and screen and also show the girl so I can see? I'll tell you. I'm a professional at this. They should they're pay six, me. They're six foot eight. Okay, I'll share a screen in a minute. I need to sort out your... I'm doing something wrong here. Split screen. Debate moment. I, sorry, I got to set up Brittany on camera. Give me a minute here. Chat. Boomer moment. What have you been up to today, Brittany? How's life been? I got my nails done with Lila Hart, and, and we were gossiping like we do every time we get our nails done. Good good old conservative gossip, gossip about how everyone's a whore and fucks each other and acts out for no reason, acts like teenage women. You know, what's new? Yeah. Um... <laughs> You know, get, get your nails done is an act of self-care and self-love and anti-patriarchy, according to AOC. So, you know, proud of you. Yeah. AOC is the true bimbo. Yep. We can, we right. can save her. Oh, I think I've, I think I've got window must match title. Yep, yep, yep. I think I've got your camera sorted out here. Yep. Maybe, 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 maybe not. Okay. Oh, this Britney right. is a black woman too? I have competition? Yeah. How dare she? Do. Or they? How dare they? How dare they is right. What is this? Sorry, there's something going on on my screen. I don't know what... What is happening here? Bimbo power is what's happening. Oh my goodness, Britney. I've, I've messed up my whole OBS. So we're going to be playing a game called Not For Broadcast. I've downloaded it. I've never played it before. I don't really know how it's going to go. We're going to hope for the best, expect the worst. Last time I was playing on a computer that was barely functioning. So this time, you know, I'm, I'm hoping for better. Yeah, I haven't watched any gameplay about it either. Okay. Okay, I think I've got your video up now. Oh, apparently this other Brittany might might look like me. I still haven't seen what they look like yet, but some, uh, Dan Holland super chats me, three pounds said, uh, Brittany Griner looks like Nistrin a little. And my friend Nistrin, the reason we are friends is because someone told her she looks like me, which she she does look like the black That's why. That's how you choose your friends? She, <laughs> do they look like me? I actually do have two friends that look like me. That's kind of how we found each other because they approach me and they're like, oh yeah, like with one friend, Julia, she's a quadroon as well. And I never meet other quadroons. Quadru yeah. Can you explain to the chat what a quadroon is? A quadroon is someone who's a quarter black. Okay. I'm 33% black. My mom was black and uh, DNA, you know, bites on unevenly. What, at, what, at what percentage do you lose the N-word pass? Like at what one, 100, what one poofteenth do you lose it? I think at like one eighth is, is like the cutoff. One eighth is a cutoff for the N-word pass. Okay. Okay. I'm sending you, I'm going to show everyone in the chat this photo as well, but I'm, I'm sending you a photo of this Brittany and you got to tell me. Okay. Turn on your virtual webcam so I can capture you. Mate, that sounds complicated. Let, we'll deal with this first. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that in a second. Okay. I got to share screen. Okay. Everybody, this is the picture I'm showing Brittany right now. Okay, Brittany, what is your consensus? Um, what is the gender we're dealing with here? And they're 6'8? Six 6'8. Eight? Six eight. No, that's, um, I, I don't think that's a biological woman. It's I, very confusing how the media, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. She looks synthetic to me. Is Brittany? I I don't know why I care so much about this. Oh, sorry, I'm bringing up the wrong. Yeah, like those shoulders happened. are very broad. What is going on here? Why did it switch screens? It's not supposed to do that. Window title must match. Okay, okay, don't worry about it. Are you going to make a video on Alex Jones? Uh, maybe. I was thinking of looking into it a little more. I need to, like, the thing with making court case videos is I'm never going to make, I was looking for, like, a good breakdown of the Alex Jones case, and I couldn't find any. It's all, like, these live streams that are hours and hours and hours long, and a lot of people just want a breakdown of, like, what's happening in the case, but to do a breakdown, you have to watch the whole trial, and that's hours and hours of work. Okay, what? Oh, that's your screen. You're bringing it up. I was so confused. I was like, why is your image disappearing? Oh, does it share my screen on Discord too when I switch? Yeah, it does. I was so oh. confused, Brittany. 
is Brittany Griner a biological woman? Maybe I should do it that way. Does that work? Um, yeah, it's fine. In an interview with SI in 2013, Griner publicly came out as a lesbian. Um, no, I think this is... Griner is neither transgender nor a man. She is les. Okay, okay. So it is a biological female. Well, I don't believe in them. Which, in which case, for all the people that would be making fun of Griner, okay, wait, this probably includes me. Like, if someone doesn't like perfectly fit into what they should, if they're like super tall or something, or if it's a guy that's super, you know, tiny and like shorter than women, you shouldn't, you shouldn't mock them and call them the opposite sex. Because what that does is it fuels the transgender stuff. It fuels like people thinking they have to switch sexes. So just be like, yeah, you know, sometimes women can be really dull. That's that's fine. It happens. Sometimes no, men can be. No, it doesn't. There are no women that are six a. I don't believe them. I think I I actually think they're lying. I think I'm being gaslit. <laughs> You're being gaslit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maybe. I'm not fucking maybe. stupid. You think I'm just gonna sit here and be like, oh yeah, women are six a. Like. I'm gonna literally Maybe look she's it like up. a biological. You know how they do those like spliced bi biological uh, freak babies in China. What do they call them? Um, genetically m modified babies, China. There's like a name for them. Design CRISPR babies. babies. CRISPR babies. Why Have you ever seen that? this? No. Why are they called? That? Um, a daring effort is underway to create the first children whose DNA has been tailored using gene editing. I think they did this for a few Chinese basketball stars too, actually. Or no, they just like deliberately were like breeding super tall people together to make based basketball players that are like 10 feet tall or recreating giants. How cool is that? Recreating them because they lived on this earth once, my friends. Aren't, um, wait, didn't they say that's like bad in the Bible? You're supposed to like kill giants? You're Christian, aren't you? Didn't they say that in the Bible? Uh, the Nephilim, yeah. Yeah. I, I, maybe it was Goliath the Nephilim? I have to clearly look. Okay, you're lagging. You're lagging hard. Oh, am I Camus? Chat. Chat. Was Goliath a Nephilim? Am I. Do I need to look into this more? Okay. What does CRISPR stand for? Okay, it was the invention of a powerful gene editing tool, CRISPR, which is cheap and easy to deploy that made the birth of human genetic humans genetically modified in in vitro fertilization theoretically possible. Now it appears it may already be happening. According to Chinese medical documents posted online this month, a team at the Southern University of Science and Technology in Shenzhen has been recruiting couples in an effort to create the first gene-edited babies. They planned to eliminate a gene called CCR5 in hopes of rendering the offspring resistant to HIV, smallpox, and cholera. How much is that going to... This article came out in 2018, which means they started doing this in the 90s. Anything you see come out in the media about, like, new tech stuff, that, they've been doing it for, like, 10 years before it ever makes it to the media. How much mm. does it suck that not only do you have to compete in all of the housing markets against Chinese foreign buyers taking all of our property, but now you're going to have to compete against, like, genetically modified giant Chinese people that are going to have superpowers because of this CRISPR technology? They're going to be, like eight foot nine buying all of our houses no don't like it don't like it uh, they're uh, all gonna look like anime characters with like genetically modified blue eyes and like white hair down to their ankles yeah i mean they already have that you can already laser brown eyes into light green eyes even blue sometimes if they're light uh, brown has science gone too far yeah, well, what's crazy is I think about, like, I have, um, I had really blue eyes when I was a kid, and they went darker, and same with my hair. I had, like, white hair when I was a kid and went darker. So it does seem like, you know, the body creates, can create or retract melanin. I don't know. Maybe I'm slowly becoming black. <laughs> Maybe when I'm, like, 90, I'll just be a full black woman. Have you ever seen the meme? There's a meme on TikTok, like, girls who are blonde as babies can't get over it, even though, like, they'll be adults with, like, fully brown hair, and they're like, I'm blonde still, and it's, like, a whole thing, like... Actually, completely true. People <laughs> ask, like, why did you bleach your hair for so long, Lauren? I couldn't... As soon as it started getting darker, I was like, what is happening? I am a blonde! I am a blonde! <laughs> Oh, I have, a take it away from me. I have a question for you. So I was talking about this before you brought me on your stream with my chat yeah. and quartering was in here and he was like, oh yeah, like something about like drinking alcohol, the chaser. And I was like, excuse me, 
Moid, a chaser? Like, men shouldn't be allowed to have chasers. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't know that you literally spread your ass cheeks. Like, you would just say you're gay at that point. You're a male that drinks chasers? So I was gonna ask you, like, does your husband drink chasers? I think everyone drinks chasers. Psychotic. That's literally I, fat I mean, behavior. I, that's, it's fat behavior like that's that's it's not with behavior like, if you're if you're having yeah if you're having like a nice glass of scotch you're not gonna have a chaser but if you're like if you're having a shot of like a disgusting vodka or something i think it's fine to have a chaser i don't know i don't want to take that away from men they don't, don't want to take the it. joys of Bellinis with cute little uh you know flamingos and tiny little uh umbrellas on them i don't want to take the joy of that away from men i think they the, can have their moments i think the only two chasers they should be allowed to have is uh water and beer that's it yeah beer's an acceptable chaser okay i'm starting the game right now okay oh i have to share a screen with you yeah and if you can put your cam on do so so i could capture it Yeah, I think people who need who need chasers okay. need to grow some balls. Though. I'm exiting this game until I can sort out how I'm gonna screen share this. Okay. Uh, Q Reverie says best five dollars spent ever. Man identifying as a woman with a wife. Well, guess what? You're gay, <gasps> Q Reeve. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do I? Okay, we're gonna have a moment here, everyone. Uh, Art Norman Jr. Author two dollars super chat. Hi, my ebook. Uh, don't shill your shit for only two dollars. Like some people have the fucking audacity. There, it's like okay, yeah, your book is worth two dollars. Congratulations, you're shilling your ebook for two fucking dollars. Like, I'm, let me go make fuck myself with the dollar menu while we're at it. Okay, I see the game. Okay, how do I make you the main thing? Okay, there we go. You're the main thing now. Okay, you can see the. I'm gonna start the game. Okay. You can see everything on my screen, yeah? Uh, yeah, I can see your screen. No webcam, but I can see the screen. Okay, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get my webcam. That sounds like a lot of hard work. You did it last stream. You know what? I'm, I'm mentally challenged, okay? And I don't appreciate you trying to force me beyond my mental capacity for technology. My viewers are being starved of your not blonde hair. John Snowden, two dollars. Look up internal testes of intersex women. That sounds disgusting. I don't want to. Three pounds. Super chat from Dan Holland. Kind of base. Christopher ensures no more ugly people. He's right, though. He is right. Okay, setting up the game. How do I turn down the game volume? Holy. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Sorry, this is the game volume, guys. I'm going to fix it in a minute. Create profile name. Options. Turn the heck down with the audio. We got to chill with the... Okay, music's got to chill. Okay, poof, much better. Okay, okay. All right, we got the game open here, guys. Brittany, you still there? We still got you? Yeah, I'm just adding the game onto the screen really quick. Okay. I Does Lauren's friend have a YouTube channel? I like her style. Yes, this is Brittany Venti. Yeah, not Brittany Griner or whatever the fuck. Not their Brittany name Griner, is. Brittany Venti, yeah. Uh, window capture, Brittany. We'll get her on screen. I have no idea what this game is. Someone recommended it like months ago that Brittany and I play. So we're doing it. I li see, I listen to your recommendations. It just takes me a while. Yeah, same. I straight up, someone gave me a suggestion for a video and I straight up made it like a year later. Yeah, sounds about like me. Wait, hold on. Don't start the game yet. I'm, I'm still figuring it I'm not out starting it. I'm still setting up your webcam. So you're on here too. So you're with me, beside me. Woman moment, can't do anything alone. It's like girls have to go to the bathroom and like clans all together. Yeah, that's smart though, because you don't get killed if you're like drinking. Yeah, okay, here we go. I've set Brittany up, she's here. I might, <sighs> should I shut the chat off? I feel like we're gonna miss things if I've got chat all over screen. Sorry guys. Here we go. 
Okay, I have the screen on now. Super chats will still go on screen. Um, have you played Stray yet? You play as a cat. 11 out of 10. Pete Gaming says Raging for a Ball. That sounds fun. I don't know what it is, but I've already done... I, I, I played... Um, <laughs> what's that? Super Mario World? You play as a cat in that too? Yeah, people compared it to that. I think it was Donkey who said that. And he was like, oh, it's better for like this or that reason. But like Stray is cute. It's known for the really cute uh, graphics. So Content I warning. Am I going to get my channel banned? Okay, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, gameplay. We're just going to do normal difficulty. Does that work for you? Yeah, I'm a stupid bitch. Bimbo power. Being stupid is resting don't in talk, femininity. Don't talk, about, don't talk about my friend like that, okay? <laughs> no, but do you agree that being stupid is resting in your feminine energy? You know, I don't want to attack my entire sex like that. I don't know. I think being a stupid bitch is pretty hot. All right, I'm I'm clicking confirm. Uh, Wait, why isn't it working? Let me confirm. Auto sensors off. Okay, normal. Confirm. What? What? Let me play. Oh wait, here we go. Game. <laughs> okay, it's just not gonna let me hit confirm and play. Very cool. Oh, is there something I'm missing here, chat? A brain. Advanced setting? Yeah, true, <laughs> actually. Just, wait, inter electrocution snuggle hugs overheat? What does that even mean? Okay, not for broadcast contains scenes of discussion of death, euthanasia, fertility miscarriage, graphic depictions of sexual nature, hate groups, hate speech. Ah, oh, goodbye, my channel. Police brutality, suicide, violence, war, oppression, nudity, all of it. Okay, goodbye, channel. Would you say that Twitch has better... Um, I mean, obviously, like, I know what you're going to say in terms of, like, what happened with Destiny, but, like, do you think it's easier to get banned on Twitch than it is um, YouTube? Absolutely easier to get banned on Twitch. Not even a question. A real challenge. Non-broadcast mechanic... Oh, are we supposed to, like, stop, like... When there's a war or like a shooting or something, we have to censor it before it goes to air. Is that the idea? Oh, is it? I, maybe that's why they suggested it with the papers, please thing, because it has that same type of energy. So uh, we can play story mode. Experience the story without the stress. Non-broadcast mechanisms are off. Viewers are very forgiving. In turn, less challenging. Non-broadcast mechanisms are less demanding. Okay, we'll try, we'll just try story mode. Okay. I can't hear it. Am I supposed to be able to hear it? You can't hear it? Yeah, you are supposed to be able to hear it. <laughs> Am I not sharing audio on my Discord, maybe? I don't know. I'll try to fix that. Because I could hear you, so obviously my audio is in the right thingy, but... And I have the mm. volume on. Options. Weird. Um, I feel like it should be sharing my audio. Or if you can't hear audio, that's okay. I'll just describe what's happening to you. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Okay, so D, you're just, you're giving me advice here, okay? You're like the, oh, oh, I can look around. That's fun. This is, is this me? Am I this? I don't, I, okay. I'm a white dude, of course. <laughs> Actually, no, it, this doesn't make sense. White men aren't allowed to work in media anymore. Yeah, they are if they're, if they're gay. If they spread. Can you see, can you see the subtitles? Uh, yeah. You're allowed to work media if you can spread punk monkey pox, I believe. That's what I heard. At the rule. Yeah. Okay. Monkey pox users. So look up at the top. Look okay, so this is our this is our audience over here. We want them going up, not down. Makes sense. Okay. 
Am I in Australia? Where am I? Or am I in the UK? What accent is this? Okay, so we pick what's going up on screen here. Okay, this is just like controlling OBS, so I'm going to be really bad at it. Okay, turn left. Jessica's, uh, Jessics, my friend Jessica, Super Chat 5 Darn said, you got to teach Lauren about OBS virtual camera. Also, Lauren will always be blonde in my heart. She taught me, J Lauren, you were the one who taught me about virtual cam. And now I'm the yes. one using it and not you. Listen, do as I say, not as I do, Brittany. <laughs> hey, Ashton. Sorry, my chat. Is this Sky Australia? <laughs> Can't be Sky News as they're ba based. Oh, I can look under the desk? What's under the desk? Okay, wow. We're going... Advertisement. Okay, we're gonna do uh, Crazy Neil. Let's get Crazy Neil. Exercise with ham selves. I don't know what that is. All right, cool. We got our ads in. What, did it say something about history of knee socks? I saw that in the subtitle. No, the I don't want to learn about cat boys. Okay, wait. Okay, that's my screen. Can I turn up the... I, I shut down all the game volume and now I can't hear anything. This guy Not showed good. in my chat again. Like, how did... What do you do in these scenarios? Do you like let people just like show their eBooks for like $2 or $10 super chats? Like they don't even say, hi, I love your content. They're just like, here's my eBook. Go download it so I can send you spam emails, bitch. It's Australia. He just said, just relax, mate. It's all gravy. This is an Australian news for oh. sure. Oh, I can't hear it. Sorry if I'm talking over it. I don't know why. Wait, what's going on? I don't read. Oh, so real I click two. Lauren, I can only read the subtitles, and I don't know how to read. I do. <laughs> I don't even know what the point of this game is yet. I think it's I, I still. I literally. I feel like I've just gone to work, and I'm having a day in the office. And I'm streaming it. This is your, <laughs> your Tucker. Your Tucker Carlson's producer. <laughs> I, my viewers are going up on uh, the game, and they're going down in real life. <laughs> National Wait, press one. Okay. Wait, why are we pressing one? Hey, you don't have to do... You do, I, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know if this can be a two-player game, Brittany. I'm just press. I'm literally... This is just like going to work. <laughs> I, I, what is the point of this? Are these the guys that made the game? They just like made a bunch of fake news reports? Is he wearing a wig? Maybe. It's toupee. Okay, now all we have, okay, this is like the, so I think, don't play it too early or we all get fired. Okay, I see. Fuck it, they don't have health insurance anyway. These, okay, I see these are the ads. Okay, so we got to play the ads over on this side over here as soon as this ends. Two, <laughs> one, play an ad. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm really doing well training for my new job here. Someone just asked me what pride flags are those on the TVs? What pride flags are these on the TV? <laughs> the classic one, where they just shut down anything gay for being on television. Thank you, uh, Andrew Hillier, for that. Wait, is that Anthony Bugtano? Who's that? The guy who um, has very bad takes that Destiny doesn't get along with. You don't know who he is? 
Oh, hey, you know what we should do instead of this? Because I'm already bored of this. We should join the Destiny ABBA panel on women. On women? Yeah. Okay, we'll play this for two more seconds. I'm going to lose, and then we're going to... Okay, Brittany and I are going to join your panel. Are y'all live? All right, guys, if you're here, don't worry. We're going to go join a panel. Brittany died. I didn't die. I'm here. What do you mean? You keep moving your camera around, and then you disappear on my screen. Oh, I changed the camera because it was, sh it was like, showing the wrong thing. I'll switch it back. Hold on. Because it keeps capturing yeah. when I switch windows, so I switch it to the other one, but now it's, like, annoying. Oh, whoops. Okay, I see. I've got four cameras I can use now. Uh, mid tier alpha nineteen ninety nine super chat play lots of arthritis and reverse mortgage commercials that should run up your score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I killed it, nailed it. God, I wish I knew what was going okay, on. Okay, Megan on screen four. See, this isn't really interesting when you've done television. <laughs> you've yeah, done, okay, I'm on screen. You've done it like behind the scenes too before. Well, no, like, I've watched all the studio stuff and done all this, and... Oh, you know what? Okay. You know what? I hate this game. I'm so bored. Sorry, guys. ADHD strikes. We're joining the Destiny panel to debate. I'm not jo going to three. We're exiting your game. We're all right. We're debating. Wait, I thought we were going to be observing and, like, making no. background comments. It's, whoever suggested this game, I love you, but I'm going to need to play it a bit beforehand to find out why it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Right now, it's just like a second job. I lost like 400 viewers playing that. <laughs> um, no, we're going to go join the panel. How? Uh, we're going to debate. We're going to have a debate night. It'll be fun. It'll be cute. No, but like how? Like, is there a link or like? Oh, uh, yeah. Let me, let me see. Do you have a linkers or call you can add us to? Uh, so the topic is feminism, women, and the Western world falling apart. I feel like you're going to have some genius takes on this. Okay, they're going to call us. Oh, okay. On Discord? Have you ever heard of ABBA and Preach? They're two yeah. YouTubers that, yeah, they're going to be there. Yeah, it's going to be called on Discord. I'll send. Do you have Destiny's contact stuff? No, not on Discord. I okay, don't. I'll send your Discord username. Or I'll invite you when they add me to the chat. Okay. Hmm. I need to test these games before I put the, I, I thought it was going to be two player because I thought we were just picking what was going on. I guess you are kind of doing it, but you probably have to play a bit more before you get privileges to do fun things like shock your audience with terror attacks. And I'd probably lose my channel anyways. Great topic, says Ephraim. Thank you. It is going to be a good topic. I totally came up with it and invented the whole panel. And I'm definitely not just jumping onto someone else's. Oh, I think I missed a few super chats, so I'll answer those while I'm waiting for the linkers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've I've watched Abba and Preach before. They're basically like, like, have you watched them or? Um, have I watched them? No. Okay, so basically they're like a reaction channel. It's like two black guys. And they're kind of like manosphery, and um, but they're not like they're not like one of the the worst ones type of thing. Like their content's watchable. And um, the content's they, watchable. Yeah, they have they have a good video here and there. I've watched a few of their videos. I haven't watched like a, I haven't binged them or anything, but they yeah. cover some interesting topics. And they just are kind of like uh, anti woke, I would say. Okay. And they kind of cover uh, different pop culture topics. I can respect that. I can respect that. So okay. I lost uh, the, 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 a few super chats. I'm just gonna answer. Which decade is the best music? 70s, by far. Marushia Dark says, not sure if it applies here, but typically at the end of a case, the judge will ask the convicted if they're happy with the job their attorney did. I'm sure Alex will have an interesting answer for that. They won't pay fines because we won't bring charges. Um, that's not true. I think a lot of, I I've tried to go take media companies to court and it's been hell. It's, it's really, really challenging, uh, the way they've set up the system. Kyle Trimbach says, Alex Jones was deplatformed de from every social media outlet. Think about that. The day after Isaac Cappy said on his show that Spielberg was a minor attracted person. Map, is that what you mean? Cappy was suicided later this that week. 
Nova says, did you see the RCMP enter a little girl's bedroom and question her while her parents and dogs slept? No warrant or knock in Newfoundland. Sounds like someone's about to lose their job. Uh, Physicality Channel says, Brittany Griner stole my television. Evil Dead uh, says, look at me, I'm a groiper. I never had a job, a GF or purpose. I need mommy's credit card for cozy TV. Ralph is a rage <laughs> pick. The Physicality Channel, Griner will live her vape fantasies in a male prison. Leapshin Talks, uh, da, 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 said, do you like all good photography? Leapshin Photography has your eyeballs back. Physicality, 9-11 was a Lauren Southern job. Um, Archeon, Lauren, I believe gay people should be allowed to do what they want as long as they aren't hurting anyone. That being said, I'm not going to host a gay pride parade in Afghanistan. Use common sense. I don't, I, okay. Stephen Britton says, Lauren, they're trolling you. Ignore them. <laughs> the usual. If Griner was my family, I'd disown him. <laughs> Evil Dead, you can get the same time in a red state. Leapshin, I read that one. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Clint says, there's no such thing as medicine marijuana. It's bad for you. CBD is not bad for you, in my opinion. Okay, uh, it doesn't I have any psychoactive. Once. Okay, but it gives effect. you the munchies, though, if it's full spectrum. Maybe. And I didn't know that, and I took it, and I only had smoked from when I was like 18 and 19. So I'm very familiar with how being high feels, and I was like, what the fuck? Am I high? I have the munchies. I just kept eating while taking CBD, so I stopped taking I it. Barely, it if I barely, I've, I've tried CBD. I didn't do any, it, I really didn't really notice much at all, to be honest. Maybe it's because I just tried like a small amount, but it didn't seem to change anything. Um, Jacob says, friends. check Discord. Destiny wants to chat. Sorted. Did that. Uh, da -da. Call Destiny. I live, in, I live in Richmond. 75% Asian now. Lol. Very, yeah, yeah. That is, that is the facts. What would you say to a fan who's thinking of committing suicide? I don't don't do that i don't know if i'm the best person to ask for advice on that one but you know i um i think that's probably a bad idea yeah. everyone thinks you know, everyone thinks when they're in in like this one moment in, in their life it's like the worst moment of their life this is they're never going to come back from it their life is over think back to like your first breakup it was like the guy who left cute little notes in your locker and told you that he didn't want to go to prom with you and you think your life's freaking over. You have those moments for the rest of your life where you think your life's over, you think it's a disaster, and then things change, things move on, you you get new opportunities, and, and you feel completely different from whatever moment you used to be at in your life. Um, that's, yeah, that's just the journey. That's the journey. You can get stuck in a rut for a long time, but you absolutely can get out. I believe that with all my heart. Maybe they should stop drinking with chasers. Maybe that's why they want to do it. Okay, okay. Are we... They said, give me a sec five minutes ago. Okay. Cool. That's a long second. Uh, All right, well, hold up. Everyone that's about to leave the stream because we're just chatting nonsense, don't worry about it. We're, we're joining the debate panel here in two seconds. Two really long seconds. Uh, 1999 Super Chat from Mid-Tier Alpha. Is Destiny still growing? He seems taller lately. Eat your vegetables, kids. Don't smoke them. Julian says Joe Biden now admits he's not president, but vice president. He probably did say that. Has he, did he say that in a recent announcement? He did just say he has cancer, too. So the man's just... He's just saying things he probably shouldn't be saying. Yeah. Uh, I think he's just... Maybe Joe Biden's high. Maybe he's on CBD. Sorry, someone in my chat just wrote something that I thought was a meme. Boondock said, I committed suicide when I was 19. Luckily, I survived. And what I learned is it's not just those who love you, you hurt. It's those you've yet to meet. Sorry, I, the way you typed that, I think you meant to say I attempted suicide, not I committed suicide. <laughs> I was like, bro, how are you here? <laughs> uh, when's the last time you spoke to Ethan Ralph? The Odyssey Games. Didn't want to eat the bugs. Uh, Wookie be bad twenty dollars super chat for the only person on my Twitter feed that has every post restricted. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm like the most re restricted person on Twitter. They refuse to remove the uh, little warning that's on my Twitter, so nobody sees anything from me. I'm literally like hardcore banned. You have to type oh, in the whole thing. This is something interesting. 
that happens on um, Instagram as well. Does this happen to you, chat, where it'll like auto censor your ability to engage with certain accounts? It'll even like tell me, oh, you can't like for a while because we're protecting you from, I don't know, hate speech or something. I get these notifications all the time where it won't let me engage with people on Instagram because it says that I'm like getting radicalized. What? I didn't know that was a feature. <laughs> Yeah. Does no one else get this? Is it just me that has like the government phone that tells me what I can and can't like? I figured everyone was living in this Orwellian hell with me. Apparently not. Thank goodness they're doing all that hard thinking for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a dumb citizen. What? 15 minutes? I don't want to wait 15 minutes. Okay, what's something I can watch for 15 minutes? Uh, Abba and Preach. You can watch the debate. Um, we can watch a bit of the Alex Jones trial. Any new updates, I guess. That works. Thank you, Jonathan, five dollars donation for the queen. Wow, my, it's like a church. Thank my you. back hurts. I'm getting old. I'm getting ancient. Ugh. What is that? Okay, it's because I've been sitting on my foot for two hours. Oh, you do that too? I sit cross-legged. Yeah. Oh, I always feel like it's comfier, but now I'm gonna have to go to a chiropractor or something. I'm scared of Not chiropractors. Good. I don't like how they just violently snap your neck. It's like, you couldn't just do it a little slower. Like, why does it be like, Rang! like they're trying to rip your fucking head off? Yeah, I don't know if it's voodoo magic. I haven't quite decided yet, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> I'm too scared. Body cam show. Let's see my YouTube suggestions. Body cam shows San Diego police hazing alleged sexual assault suspect. Ba -ba -ba. Did you see the article about Alex Jones' lawyer saying that they deserve eight dollars? Yeah, I did. A dollar for every offense committed. I didn't really. I, I reread that like three times because I wasn't sure if it was serious or if there was like a typo in the article. And then did you see that the attorney accidentally leaked all of Alex Jones' like two years of text messages to the other side? which got him um, potentially in trouble for perjury. Did you see that one? Yeah, I think it doesn't, it's not gonna actually be perjury because um, he never admitted to it, technically. No, but because what, what they're saying is um, that he claimed he searched his phone for any texts about Sandy Hook, which I don't really know why that would matter because it's like what you say isn't he in trouble for what he said publicly can't you say whatever you want in your private life but either way he searched his phone claimed he had nothing and then his attorneys accidentally sent the messages to the other side and then they found texts about sandy hook yeah allegedly yeah i um i don't know if they'll like actually get him on that but because he like because i don't know if you saw the clip i'm assuming you did where he they approached alex about it. they're like did you know your attorney sent me the text? And then he- Yeah, I saw the clip and they, they put they put the text up on screen though, didn't they? They blurred it in like the public video because I was trying to read what it said. But um. But yeah, he, Alec he kind of ran around it though. He didn't directly say like, oh yeah, like I actually did lie. He kind of like was like, oh, if I was mistaken, if I was mistaken, I was mistaken. He was very uh, particular in the way he worded it. Okay, now they're- re now the January 6th panel are requesting his text messages. I guess they think that there's information about January 6th in his messages too, which I don't know. Once again, I don't know why it would matter or be relevant what Alex Jones said in his personal life in private text messages about January 6th or anything with Sandy Hook. What would that have to do with a public case about how he publicly spread information about Sandy Hook? Like, I... Okay, so let's see this. Someone in my chat made a great um, point. They said, who the fuck keeps text for two years? And to that, I say true, but also, like, who deletes your messages? Like, I don't delete my messages. I don't know. Do you? Do I delete my messages? Yeah. Um, text? No, what usually happens is I usually lose my phone, and then they're all gone. <laughs> How many times are you losing your phone? Uh, at least once every couple of years. So if anyone wants to take me to court, it's <laughs> over for you. <laughs> I'm gonna have nothing. 
I don't know. I heard some people they'll like go through their old texts and like reread like what exes say or stuff. I'm like, huh. That seems strange. Like years after the fact, I was like, huh. I didn't know people did Ooh. that. I accidentally put like all of my um. <laughs> Never mind. Or is this gonna <laughs> be a, how you you accidentally leaked nude story or something? Yeah. No, I I had um. This is a new computer that I'm on right now. And I've logged into all of my accounts, obviously, so I'm able to stream, like, connected to my YouTube. But it, like, connected all of my old bookmarks that I had. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I, I just put them on screen accidentally, and it's, like, just, like, 4chan stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, good, I'm gonna get myself back on some nice watch lists, since you guys already found it, and you'll be able to Google it. I had, like, uh, this link on my bookmarks from years ago. Reactionary literature. Lord of the Rings is on there. That's actually a, a great one. The Decline of the West, Revolt Against the Modern World, Dante's Inferno, actually good. You know what? These actually aren't bad. You know what? I, I think I'm fine. I think I'm good. Yeah, this Men is Among like, the Runes. This is like the Scout video all over again. Anything? Yeah, okay. I had that, and then I... <laughs> oh, hold on. I had a page... I had a page on race, right evolution, and behavior open. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Just some 4chan stuff. Don't worry about it, guys. Yeah, at least it wasn't tentacle porn. What was that? Eric Eichenwald that did that? What, what, what was his name? Chris Eichen... It was Eichenwald something. Eichenwald. Kurt Eichenwald. And he claimed that, this was years ago, but it was so freaking funny. He claimed that he accidentally was showing his wife and kids tentacle porn for kicks or something. And that's why he had it open on his computer and left the link open. Just like the most bizarre, if you guys don't know about this story, it's wild. Tentacle porn. Here's an article. Kurt Eichenwald was just looking at tentacle porn for his family. This was in 2017. Perhaps you were all geared up for some details around the salacious and unverified rumors James Comey was supposed to discuss at today's Senate hearing, but instead got several hours of sober testimony on mostly established information. Just as the world was ready to breathe a sigh of disappointment, though, centrist, no, he's a leftist, media pundit Kurt Eichenwald of Vanity Fair, MSNBC, and Newsweek hopped on Twitter to inform the world of his interest in tentacle porn in what was a part of a larger attack on bow-tied-wearing F-stick Tucker Carlson, Eichenwald sent an image of his computer screen. Wait. Okay, so what was it that was in this image? Oh, yeah, so it was, like, on his desktop or something. It was back here. And one of the links was... Yeah, so one of the links was like weird tentacle porn or whatever. But anyways, um, Eichenwald has loads of enemies on the left and the right who quickly zeroed in on one of his tabs, which was apparently a search for B. Chiku, an extremely hardcore hentai. Do not Google it. Good advice. Um, he began getting owned for this almost immediate and to his credit. Oh, he, he began getting owned for this almost immediately. And to his credit, he did not delete the original tweet. His excuse, however, is not the best. Sigh. Okay. I'm a dumbass. Believe it or not, my kids and I were trying to convince my wife that tentacle porn existed. I tried to find it, to show her it was real, but I couldn't find any and ended up with this. My family reads my Twitter feed, so they know this is true. Okay, Kurt. All right. <laughs> this is like parody, yeah. <laughs> ah, the classic, this tentacle, cor this tentacle porn was for my wife and my children excuse. We've all been there. Well, there isn't what really a good way to bounce to? back after... Don't worry about it. You know what? <laughs> Journalists uh, from MSNBC were just looking up some cheeky tentacle porn to show their kids and wife. Oh, that's Well, there isn't really a good way to bounce back after something like this. Logging off for the week seems like the best idea. This did, Okay. I don't like the way that these, like, clickbait articles are written. Anyways. Classic! I was doing it for research! She live. She goes to another school. Don't worry about it. For educational purposes, science, etc. Science. So much science to be done. Anytime I do something bad, it was for science. 
that time I shot all those flares at migrants in Miami coming from Puerto Rico with a bazooka, it was science. It was a science. I was trying to show my husband and kids what a flare, how a flare works. He should have just said he was gay. That would have been an easier out. Would have been. Okay, let's see. Are we being kept out of this panel intentionally? They're gatekeeping. We need to grow Are they gatekeep. gatekeeping us? We do. Oh, there's like there's like another debate they're ending. Okay, I'm gonna tell this chat over here. Tell him to end this stupid debate so we can discuss the woman question. Woman hey, asks thanks. for attention. What's what's new? What's surprising? Brit about that? Brittany and I want to join. Tell them to stop. Yeah, the whole world should stop for us. Because we're hot, okay? It's really that simple. I mean, okay, I gotta change the stream name here. Okay. Debating Western women. Every, everyone likes, everyone is just obsessed with the gender topics because they deal with it every day on a daily basis. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's become more and more polarizing, which isn't good. It's supposed to be about families and working together. And it's like so many people trying to split, the, trying to basically pit the genders against each other. And they can't seem to like have that discernment of when something's a joke or not a joke. Yeah. It's like, you know, most of these problems would probably be solved if, like, men just fucked their wives real good. I'm pretty sure it would be fixed. I mean, I'm going to take a break until we start the debate. See, Brittany's wildin' right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just spitting the truth. See, Abba and Preach would agree with me. Okay. Pat, I'm getting a drink of water before we start this debate. Um, you you guys are going to have to entertain yourself for a minute. Uh, actually, I'll put on some music for you, okay? Brittany's voice might be in the background, but I'll put on some Be Right Back music, okay? You can enjoy it. Does this have music? It should. Let's see. There we go. All right. You just wait five minutes. I'll be right back, y'all. I wonder if they can still hear me. Hold on. Solve for a minute stream delay um five dollars through chat from marcus henry what am i witnessing two of the baddest and funniest baddies together whoa that was a smooth one sure. all right you just wait five minutes i'll be right back y'all she has a cool brb screen it's cute i like it Okay, so they can't hear me. Um, anyway. That Lawrence Southern's viewers will never know I'm talking shit on my stream because they can't hear me. Am I natty? Yeah. Um, she's getting a tall glass of vodka. Yeah, question her, her drink. No, we'll know because she needs a chaser. She'll like make a face or something. Um, why would I use roids? That doesn't really make sense. What would? How would that benefit me? I'm like really confused. Isn't that something you usually ask guys that are like really buff and in shape? I jumped from on your stream from Lauren's stream, Brittany. Oh, thank you. Um, welcome to the shit talk shack. Anyway, um, like I was saying, so like feminism, modern feminism, as in like Neil. Hey, hi. I've returned. Oh, I was just going to go back into like how women need to get fucked a little bit better and they would calm down. Hey, you got Brittany. I, so my my chat, just so you're aware, we're, we've been on an arc. We, we started with the alcoholism. Uh huh. Uh, I was drinking every stream. And then we we got through that together. Okay. And then we had the cursing arc where I was swearing every stream and my mom kept texting me telling me, Lauren, you got to chill. And we stopped that together. Now we're on the vape arc. But listen, we're past the swearing arc. You got to catch up. We're on the vape arc. You gotta, that's got to be your vice right now. We're getting through that together. New York. I'm from New York. And you want me to stop cursing. That's mm -hmm. literally like... I believe that you can come up with better words. You're... It's like... it's. 
Okay, you, you have like a bunch of stuff in front of you that you can use and then there's like this one big red button that you can just hit instead of putting any effort into like picking and choosing like, you know, the nice things that are going to weave your sentence together and you just keep slapping the red button for instant dopamine hits, which is the curse words and we got to stop it. We got to we got to weave a nice a nice sentence here together without the without the big red curse button. Oh no, I'm deliberately choosing to curse. It's a deliberate choice. I know. I know. But we can work on it together, Brittany. I believe in you. Fuck that. Oh, okay. All right. I'm, I, I can't be up to, I, I've only got like 45 minutes left. I don't want to be on stream for like seven hours, like actual streamers. I know. Did I'm you notice another... that about men? They always stream for like eight hours. They stream for like eight hours. It's like, what are you doing with your life? I'm doing uh, this morning. I was working on a new documentary. That's going to be my biggest one yet. I think um, it's it's really cool. It's a cool documentary. So I was doing meetings for that. And then I'm like, I want to hang out with real human beings and touch grass. Why? How do people? Yeah. How do people stream for like eight hours? It's wild to me. How, how long do you stream for when you typically stream, Britt? Uh, between three and four hours, sometimes two and a half if I'm really tired. Yeah, that's even, that's even too much for me. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on building up my stream stamina, but my back starts to hurt because of my bad posture and my vape runs out. <laughs> what, um, flavor of vape juice is it? Is that what you're using? It has, like, juice in it? Uh, I was using, so this is, this is the, we started with really good lemon flavored raspberry vape and now we're moved to a horrible tasting jewel which has made it much easier to not touch the vape this is this is the quitting arc that's good um are you gonna do like a alcohol abstaining thing like i had done that i just don't i just difference i liked it a lot i recommend it yeah, it makes you feel so much better. I, I just don't keep it. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, I'm not actually an alcoholic, guys. It, it was a meme. I was only ah! drink, drinking on stream. I rarely drink. Uh, drink. Ah, wow, I'm really doing a good job that. defending myself here. I would, re okay. <laughs> we were we were going out together, Brittany. Relax. But like, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm not sitting having like four Coronas every night. It was what I was doing debate streams like last year. It was just fun. But I still, you know, it's, it feels so much better when you're not drinking at all. So I just don't keep it in the house. So there's not available. There's nothing around me. So even if I am like, man, it would be to have a drink. Nope. Too bad. Got to got to vape. Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like vaping is worse than drinking. You think so? No. Yeah. Because, like, no. with vaping, there's no prerequisite you can take to protect your lungs or, like, protect any of, like, maybe the cancer it's going to give you with alcohol. Alcohol puts you at risk of your cancer, but, but the main bad thing about alcohol is that it damages your liver. Obviously, it ages you, too, and some other things. But, like, you can take NAC. It's just a supplement. Um, it doesn't really – I'm not a doctor, obviously. But it doesn't really do anything except for coat your liver and protect against alcohol. If you just take that. 30 minutes before you drink. Okay. It kind of prevents Let's liver see. damage. Uh, I've got the experts at Quora.com. What is more damaging to a person, vaping or alcohol? Anything in too much excess could be bad for you. I hate this. Shut up, Gail. Drink too much water. Eat too many. No. Namaste. That's not a good answer. This doesn't answer my question at all. Um, vaping is 95% safer than smoking. So let's see the difference between cigarettes and alcohol. Um, That's what the debate should be about. Okay. Columbia University's Go Ask Alice website notes that from a biological perspective, there is no single way to determine whether alcohol or cigarette consumption is worse for a person's health. There are dozens of different factors that can decide the ultimate health effects, such as gender, age, lifestyle, family history, mental health, Presence of other chemical substances, stress, environment, etc. However, the relative danger of either alcohol or cigarettes is without question. Okay, this is the same thing. Could be either. The discussion of comparing the potential harm of alcohol use to cigarettes can get challenging because con consuming moderate amounts of alcohol does not necessarily cause harm. In fact, there may be notable health benefits. See? This healthy behavior I had. All right, guys. 
may be notable health benefits such as lowering the risk of a heart attack. On the other hand, any degree of tobacco use is harmful, even though the inhalation of other people's smoke, a fact that was controversially covered up by cigarette manufacturers. Okay. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Smoking was, it's yeah. like, I think. Wait. It, what? I, I, okay, let's see what's. The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism notes that alcohol is the third leading cause of preventable death. Okay, what's number one, though? Number one causes of preventable death. America. Not being stupid. Uh, 50 hours... Top three. Um... I just want to read this really quickly. Oh, sh never mind. Smoking is the leading preventable cause of disease and death. <laughs> All right, you win. Probably correct. We went, we went from conquering a bad vice to an even worse one. There you go. <laughs> uh, $50 from BM. You look so beautiful today, Brittany. Bimbo power to you and Lauren. My chat loves you. They keep just commenting about, oh, you're with the beautiful Lauren. You're with the amazing Lauren. They love you. It's a shame they Apparently, couldn't see you. Apparently, whoever... <laughs> I'll try to figure it out right now, okay? Apparently, whatever... Well, we're going to be joining another call in a second here, but apparently the, it's gotten heated in the debate. I'll, actually, we can watch it and review it while waiting. That's what we'll do. I don't know. I don't even know what they're debating about. We'll find out. Share screen. Bam, bam. Oh, you can't hear it, can you? You can't hear my screen. Oh, just watch the debate on your end. Here, I'll send it to you. Okay. I sent you the debate so you can watch it on your end. Okay, cool. For a year, okay, so you've been in one or maybe two relationships in your life. How do you think you already know what women want? I've been in, I've been in many, I've been in maybe like 20 relationships. You, n not real relationships. You can't have, you, you're 23, you couldn't have what been in. What do you think a real relationship is? Like watching Netflix every That's night? That's a with your dumb Uber point to like make about real relationships. Relationship. A real relationship is dealing with the ups and downs of life with a partner that you're committed to, not somebody that you meet Friday night to fuck. Are you talking? I don't understand how you think you can live your lifestyle and flip a switch at 27 and all of a sudden be the type of man that you want to be for the type of woman you want to get. You're going to be dating Instagram models oh, wow. he and has fucking sub them your entire life. On? Or you're going to be like no, Andrew Tate. You're going to be 38 on a live stream bragging about being able to fuck 18-year-olds, and that's going to be the rest of your life. Okay, since we're me watching, that's not the, the women that I get in relationships with. I get in relationships with, like, good, like, natural women. No, you're actually good conservative and based. To do with you. You're toxic. You sound like a bitch, bro. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think a good woman? You. That was another bad call. Another man. Let's let's look. Let's look at. I don't know if I would listen to Destiny about relationships, about, relationships, okay? about relationships, so he's an open one. You I don't think he knows. Yeah, but the way he's committed relationships. Came up to that daughter. Would you let your daughter date? Like that's by definition not a commitment. Have what he's marriage. saying is accurate, though. Yeah, what he's saying is accurate. He's twenty-three. A guy that's looking But he's in a non-committal relationship or marriage. You know you're lying. I have to ask, Sneaka, you would give your daughter to a man who has nineteen other women? Wait. He was a good guy, yeah. Really? No shot. That's yeah. the biggest cope. That might be the bi that's the bigger cope than the guy with fifteen fucking booster shots. It's going for a sixteenth one right now. That's the bigger cope. What that's the, the fuck, cope the Lauren? Why am I agreeing with Destiny? Yeah. He gonna get Actually, base takes. There. That's the biggest cope I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> what is going on? There's no shot. You wouldn't let your daughter near that guy. With would you let your daughter date somebody like Andrew Tate? If your daughter was eighteen and Andrew Tate came up to her and when he's forty years old, would you let your daughter date that guy? Fuck no. You wouldn't. You're not putting out into the universe the type of energy I mean, to get the type of woman that you want when you're in your late twenties. I'd rather she be with like a strong, independent man. Letting your daughter like, date Andrew Tate is gonna get her ass you trafficked. Have, you, you don't. You're not. What you're talking about isn't it? What you're talking about isn't it? And poured out on the internet. I'd be more afraid of that. Yeah, yeah. That you're back to the masks. You you think about masks more than sheep do, more than the government does. 
You're, you're, you're like so fixated on it. It's like, the, it's like you're, it's not even a mask you, it's actually a safety blanket. It wouldn't surprise me if you had a weighted blanket made out of like discarded masks. It's like keeping you nice, I just, just keep me away from the mask you, guys, right? I wasn't talking about the mask, I was talking about the fact that you just called me toxic, which is some female shit. That's not female. I'm saying that if you're going through so many women at such an early age, you're not putting out the right energy into the universe to get the type of woman that you're telling me men should be after, you should want when you get to your late 20s. Damn, he's right. This I, I is like say, see, tragic. Most who are pious in our religious, be it Christian or Islam, aren't interested in being one of twenty or one of thirty. Yeah, absolutely. They get their conservative values, and it's not the way that they. So Lauren up. simping for Dusty in his chat. Do you not believe that? Yeah, that's true. Right. And that's true. Also, I know you guys are <laughs> you said actually bit, based taste. When I hear you blow actually about based, yeah. Other guys, for like, once, on <laughs> a rare based <laughs> moment. Enjoy this. Relish this. Rare W. Or the women with their titties. Rare W. Advertise. Or the very women that they criticize. Or the kind of material wealth that you say is not the most important thing. But it's like their whole pool for young men is these things. Oh, I got all the women. I got all the bad bitches. I got all the money. I got all this stuff. So when you say, oh, no, that's not what we're selling people on what makes a happy life. I have to look at you sideways because, like, that's literally what all That's the one thing I don't like sell. about, like, like ABBA Preach Channel. They're kind of like pro-prostitution the well. so is the vibe I got from them watching them. As, like, the antidote for happiness. I don't understand that. Which is anti-committal, anti-romance, my opinion. But that's overall not the end goal. Also, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to understand this, okay? Because I, I, I don't know... Hold on. I'm also I'm being really mean. I know I'm like blowing you out. Okay, I don't mean to be that. But you, you can take it. Okay, you can take it. When when you when you go through life acting a certain way, right? You are carving out like pieces of your soul every time you make a decision. Every time you fuck a new woman. Every time you fuck somebody over to get a new business. Every time you make a new fucking trade on your Robinhood account because all you're doing is trading crypto to get rich. You are trading away pieces of who you are to achieve some goal. By the time you're 27 or 28, there's not going to be any part of you left to go after the lifestyle that you say might be your ultimate goal. You can't say that you have goal A. Damn, did Destiny just say life. men can hoe out too? To goal B. You can't just switch up in the middle like that. You're not building towards anything. You're going to crash into a wall by the time I'm you're like, 30, actually really you're interested your in entire this. life right? building towards something that you don't even want. And by the time you do go over to the stuff that you do Pleasantly want, surprised. That are in that area that have been working at it since they're 20, they're not going to want to have anything to do with it. Why is he being be better at being a conservative than conservative? It's actually upsetting. I don't know why you get so mad about my lifestyle. <laughs> I'm not, hold on. I'm not mad about your lifestyle. If you want to have like a nice, wholesome relationship with my wife, then go ahead. But I want 10, and I know a lot of people watch my channel. Oh, this guy I'm wants 10 wives? Women what the, the fuck? Got a 10 girlfriend. It triggers you. Because Why do you keep saying I'm triggered? Did I hear I'm that right? I'm fine in my life. I'm not triggered at all right now. The only if you want to say that I'm triggered, I'm not triggered about your life. What I'm triggered is that you are selling. You are selling so only. So true. You are leading people. That's so down the true. Same what is? Spiritually empty road. What he just said. I don't know. Are you watching it? How it's spiritually yeah, empty. empty. Yeah, like if you, th this idea that you can go and just like live your life however you want, go and like have fun for years, and then randomly you're like, okay, I'm 35 now, time to switch gear. Like that's, it's like really, really hard to do that. Almost like borderline impossible. Cause yeah, the people who are gonna be, you know, spending years and years of their life kind of building up this spiritual strength, moral strength, you know, building up good people and family and communities around the, them. That When you show up at their door and you're like, hey, can I, can I join up with, they're going to be like, whoa, like, where were you the past 10 years, right? Where, where is your moral foundation? Have you built anything spiritually to make you even have anything in common with us? Really interesting. Okay, I'm going to play it on two times speed to catch up. Yeah, their neural pathways are already fucked. <laughs> but it's, you know, fine. You can stay programmed. I don't want to listen to them. What does it mean to you to be an alpha male? What does that mean? Alpha, that word is really no, hold on. No, 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 no. Alpha Don't run male. from it. Tell me, talk to me about the concept. Because in okay. my in my mind, well, hold on, let me, in my mind, I have an idea of what an alpha male would look like. I know what that looks like. Okay? So I want you to tell me in your mind what you're selling to your audience. What does an alpha male look like to you? use that word. I don't like that yeah. word. You just, you literally yeah. just use that word. I'm very so curious me. to know what, what okay, yeah. then, Destiny let's, finds let's as an alpha male. What is, the, what is, what is, a, what is, a, what is a man to you? I'm not sure. You're the one speaking in caps lock, okay? I'm not sure. Tell me what is a man to you? What is a successful man? What, what is a, what is the ideal version of a man to you? A man that could do whatever he wants to do and doesn't listen to anybody and creates his own world and is the master of his own universe. Okay. A man that can do whatever he wants to do and doesn't listen to anybody, what you just described, it's a 17-year-old teenager. 
Okay, that's what you just described there. Yeah, and then you turn 18 and then you gave up on it and started voting for Biden. Yeah, I turned 18, I gave up on because I had to become an actual man, right? A man can't do whatever, hold on. A man can't do whatever he wants to do because if you're a man, no. No. It's very telling that these so, okay. alpha men are man, never like in happy marriages walk away from a that house? are committed. Can you walk though? away from a family? Can you walk away from your obligations? Is that what a real man does? That's not what a real man wants to do. A real, a real man, man doesn't want to have any obligations in Ooh. his life. No, obligations to other people. Other, like, you create your, like, the friends and the family you have are stuff that you cultivate. Sure. So you, you don't do, so plan. at some point, being a man isn't about doing whatever you want to do. Sometimes it's about doing things you don't want to do. Sometimes it's about upholding obligations or virtues that's that you bullshit. have. That, that's, that's bullshit. bullshit. All right, then. Oh, then what wait, the fuck is this guy on? Dude, this is literally it's conservatism. Like, How is he so is, conservative? Is what the hell is going on? Just walk this is what's going on. It's, what it's, there's a switcheroo happening. All of the conservatives are secretly leftists, and the leftists are realizing they've spent so much time in their degeneracy that they want nothing to do anymore with it. So they're like changing their perspectives. This is the this is the new arc for politics. Absolutely wild. The switcheroo arc. We're switching. Oh, we're, just, we're merging timelines right now. It's like alternative universe. Responsibilities, correct? Yeah. And if you don't do, do that, then you're basically you're letting go of your boss. Yeah. Do you think the people that oh let's my god. Their lives, uh, that ego. All the kind of stuff where they're assuming responsibility. If I listen to a woman ever, my balls. No. Why is he saying their stuff like this? Man, their duty is to something higher. And not even themselves, but to something larger. Do you, do you accept that that's probably a higher indication of what a man's supposed to be rather than being able to do whatever the fuck you want? Well, if that's what he wants to do. If he wants Literally, to do. discipline is masculine. Why is this guy advertising or advocating for lack of the discipline? Of is that if you are a man, you understand that you have obligations to your family and to your community that are going to overrule things that you want to do. So a, true. A man that does whatever he wants to do, to do, that's a weak man's idea of a strong man. It's a guy that walks out on so anything, true. doesn't give a fuck about anybody, and does whatever the fuck he wants because he's only in the selfish pursuit of his own happiness. This is a guy that's never going to have a real wife. He's never going to have real friends or family because everybody's going to look at that dude as a teenager that's going to drop everything and quit when life gets too hard. Like, the, all the tests, all the tests of being a real man are about doing... It's like, babe, can you put the groceries away? No, I'm an alpha! Ugh! We'll tell you that. If it's righteous, if it's righteous, but a lot of the stuff that you think... Or like doing stuff you don't want to do, like putting on a mask or like wearing a seatbelt and then injecting another. Yeah, whatever. putting on a mask and wearing a seatbelt. These are these are the these are the everyday things. These are the everyday things. I don't know. That's kind of feminine behavior. The government and by the higher ups is a real man. Your idea of a real man is brainwashed. You're saying words like toxic to me. Yeah, I'm t I'm saying words like I'm saying words like toxic to you because when you're you can't have True. God in your mouth right after talking about fucking 20 women by the time you're 23. Those two things are fundamentally incompatible with each other. So of course I'm going to call you toxic. Okay. But I wouldn't, I'm not the one calling you toxic. It's going to be the woman that you want when you're 27. She's going to be the one. It's going to be the woman that you want when you're 27. She's going to be the one that's calling you toxic. Her I mean, Lauren, does this ABBA guy sound that's like he would be a good husband in your opinion? Is this ABBA talking? I don't know who it is. I'm, I'm, yeah, it says in the title, it's ABBA. Or is this Sneeko? Is this Sneeko slash Abba? Maybe that's their username on their own channel, Sneeko? Yeah, I'm going to pause the video yeah, for a second so we can discuss. Women, I, I don't know if it's Sneeko or Abba. I have no idea. One of them. But yeah, the the idea of anyone just being like, I want to be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want. And I'm still going to be able to accept like some form of appreciation as being conservative and holding to some higher values. Like, no, yeah, you do have to have... The, the whole idea of conservatism is... We appreciate freedom, but we have some sort of moral code that allows us to restrict it ourselves, typically through God or religion, to engage with that freedom in the most healthy way that's most beneficial for us, our families, and our communities. Yeah. So the idea because that I'm because I'm American, born just a male, I can do whatever I want, or, you know, women do this too. I'm born X gender. I'm free from all responsibility, unlike the other sex who need to constantly serve me and do X or Y or Z for me. They're the one with the responsibility to do everything. Yeah, very immature, very silly perspective yeah, on life and one that won't take you very far. Yeah. Thoughts, Brittany? Oh, I, I'm still getting over the fact that, like, Destiny put okay, this confusing Sneeko. ass si title saying Sneeko slash Abba. I thought it was Abba this whole time because he put slash. I'm like, oh, so it's an alias. So yeah, this yeah no, it's this guy named Sneeko. I yeah, don't know. I don't know anything about this Sneeko guy, but he sounds like he would be a fucking terrible husband. Like I feel bad for any future wife that has to deal with the current him and his mindset. 
uh, it seems very much the opposite of what masculinity is, despite, like, uh, Destiny claiming he used Alpha earlier. I don't know, I didn't hear it, or I didn't... I didn't... It was the Sneeko guy claiming he used yeah, Alpha. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like... That's okay, like... Abba's on Destiny's side, they're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Like, the Sneeko guy saying Alpha, it's like... Having responsibility, as Destiny kind of said, and also discipline, though, to piggyback off of that. So it's like this lack of discipline this guy has is the opposite of what women crave and want. We want, uh, in terms of a good husband, in terms of survivability for us and our children, we want someone who has discipline, whether that's discipline um, and commitment in terms of loyalty or if it's in terms of uh sexual discipline like that's something a lot of these uh manosphere-esque guys get wrong the toxic side of the manosphere so to speak they always seem to focus on um like like even kevin Samuels had spoken about this and that's one of the things i pointed out about him that i didn't like he's like oh yeah it's like okay when men cheat on women and uh like they're gonna do that you should expect that but women you have to be sexually loyal as long as the guy pays your bills and it's like yeah but women value sexual discipline too like good sexual discipline of a guy it's like a trait of an unironically high value male so it just seems like they they romanticize the undignified traits of masculinity as opposed to the dignified traits of masculinity and i always have yeah. hated that about yeah. the manosphere that's like yeah, a, there's lots to being masculine and <laughs> it's really like feminists will call masculinity oh it's toxic masculinity or whatever and they'll only focus on the bad aspects when there's so many good ones and then for some reason there's a bunch of manosphere guys that will also only focus on the bad aspects and it's like y'all can we please for once in our life highlight all the good things men do and all the good you know aspects of masculinity yeah <sighs> imagine if we okay. did that imagine if we were like romanticizing the undignified like unironically romanticizing the undignified aspects of femininity right like toxic femininity so to speak like imagine I mean, you kind of do it but you do it as a joke yeah like, yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna catch his ass and steal all his money and blah 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 like he's gonna like, i'm gonna key so his car I'm gonna, yeah i'm gonna key his car <laughs> like it, yeah if we were if there imagine if there were like women coaches telling women to do this here's how you can steal all his money here's how you can you know drug him and go through his phone like it's yeah. just like ah yeah that would be okay i'm gonna keep playing this is interesting you think you have to it's also the virtues that you have to subscribe to and by definition believing in god means you can't be a man who does whatever he wants to do because part of being virtuous is denying yourself some of those baser urges there's a reason why there are deadly sins and a lot of those sins right things like pride or greed or lust are some of the things that you're preaching to your audience every single day they have to go after your whole idea of seeing a building and wanting it is literally a violation of what the ninth commandment thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's possessions and you're telling me that's your main drive I'm that I know but that I'm pretty sure that's a pretty ubiquitous thing what? you're gonna find through all what? religions where they're probably gonna tell you, you probably shouldn't be envious of other people's shit and that is your main engine for what is making you a better person it's not to be a better servant to God it's not to be a better person for your wife or for your family or your friends it's to buy shit Whoa. Whoa. okay all right well I said I'm that it's not materialism that's not the ultimate goal. I know you I've said it but I explained the master of the oh. universe thing but you want to apply oh. where Materialism to understands I'm not Christianity the better than conservatives. Anybody can go back and check. Don't believe me. You said that a, a, a successful what? man is a guy that can no, buy houses. No, actually, no. There's a lot of conservatives that understand it well. This is just for internet politics. This is impressive. I just want to... Okay, I'm, I'll, I'm cooling down. Okay, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you're getting a little triggered, Destiny. I'm not triggered at all, but oh, I'm being oh, really hard on you, guys. Okay, sorry. Earlier, I caught a stray shot because I knew you guys were talking, and you were like, uh, I was telling Abba that I don't subscribe to the idea that everyone can be rich. Who is the Sneeko dude? Can. I don't exactly. know. Let me look him up. So you're yeah, tell me what he looks like. Not that everyone can be rich at the same time. It's that if someone tries, they can do. It. Tell me how Anybody fat his bank account is. Okay, okay, more okay, importantly, a simple statement that's true. Fair, fair. But you also recognize that's only for a minority of people that can be. Not He's got like 200,000 followers on... Yeah, anybody oh, can be rich. Okay, perfect. So now my question is, if you're doing this on these platforms and you're trying to spread the truth to as many people as possible, but you also acknowledge that not everyone who follows your advice can be rich at the same time, what do you say to the rest of the people <laughs> who won't be able to have access to those resources? That's tough. Understand? What are you that's laughing tough. about? Okay, so, so for the vast majority of your audience. Oh, did you not hear? Oh, are well, you watching it right now or no? Yeah. Well, um, he said he's not a Christian. He said he likes crystals. He's spiritual. It's just like. That's a, a ventiism. I like so that. That is a ventiism. I'm going to so steal that. People, that your philosophy is not good for the masses. <laughs> oh, sorry, chat. I watch all of my content on like two times speed. I'd watch it on four times speed if I could. I'm watching it on 1.5 to keep you all sane. But you just said not everybody will be rich. You just said, you, 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 you're just gonna make me happy. 
I just want you to hear. Here's, you just told me that not everyone can be rich at the same time. We both agree. Cool. I then asked you, what about the rest of the people who can't be? What do you say to them? And then afterwards, you told me that's, that's tough. tough. That's tough. Well, so work harder. You can still get it. It's not too late. It's never too late. Okay. What's so hard to understand about that? <laughs> I think that, so let me end on a positive note, okay? I think that the, the better message that oh, I would send it. to people is, by the time you're 16, 17, 18, you probably figured out you have a couple of unique talents and things that you can do better than most of the other people around you. What you should do is you should try to work on the things that you are best at. Find a way to turn that into a career so that you can make enough money to provide for yourself and hopefully a family. And the skills that you need to practice through your teenage and early 20 years is the skills that you think you need for the rest of your life. So if at 30 or 35 or 40, you see yourself as having a lot of friends and a close family. I am. And when you're in your 19, 20, 21 phase. Nico sounds like a 12 year old AIM user name. Yeah, it Those does. Those are the things you should be working on. Because from 20 to 30, if you spend your whole time carving a statue inside of yourself that looks like a man trying to climb a $20 million building, that's going to be the person that you are when you turn 30. You should spend your whole life working on those virtues you have, working on the talents you have, and doing the most toxic do thing the man of tell 30, men that they never expire. The magic that you wound up exactly where you want it's to really be. really for the worst. You spend your whole life building towards it. If you build towards something else, well, for joining this chat. In my opinion. I don't want to sit all night and watch someone uh, else's so stream. Well, they said they're ending the debate. What, what, what is your opinion? Uh, Did they? Oh, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Let's go get this shit, bro. Let's go get it. Get this money. Let's go get it. Let's get. Let's go get this money. Let's go get this bread, bro. Let's go get to it. <laughs> I think yeah. they. I think they're done. I, that was I, actually I, like a really interesting point to jump into the debate. Wow. What the heck? What? What the heck? <laughs> we're not swearing right now. We're saying what the heck. That sounds so Reddit though. That's Reddit. That's giving Reddit. What the freaking heckin? I'm 10. I have no other vocabulary except for the worst curse words on the planet or Reddit tier. Mom swears. That's it. That's all I got for you. you yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit shook that uh, Destiny kind of understood a lot of the conservative principles that well. That's, that, see, that's the thing you want to do in any sort of debate, right? You want to be able to debate. And this was something right, the right used to be able to do really well and the left couldn't do it all. And it looks like it's changing a Bit, at least with some creators, but you want to be able to debate someone using their own world philosophy and their own worldview, right? You want to be able to force them to be consistent with the morals they purport to have. Uh, and that, that's one of the best ways you're ever going to be able to debate someone or change their perspective or at least expose to the audience that they're a fraud, right? So that's, um, even though I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think uh, Destiny is a Christian. I don't know if he said that in the debate at all. But uh, so far, well, haven't he... heard anything like that. But he's able to argue it very well, which is interesting. Well, yeah. I mean, it makes sense that he would, to some extent, understand that worldview because he said he used to be conservative when he was very young. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's really helpful. And I always felt like that's why conservatives were so able to debate progressive points was because they were all forced to go through, like, progressive education in high school, in university. So they would have, like, a foot in both worlds and really be able to understand and, and bridge the arguments when they needed to, whereas progressives rarely had that. But, um, yeah, I guess someone, I guess he's like, uh, what do they call him? Nebraska Steve grew up in kind of conservative background, so... That's uh, definitely definitely going to help you in your debate skills. Gorgeous Mayhem says, Destiny is a Pino, progressive in name only, lol. I thought you were... Isn't Pino, Pinoy, like a name for Filipinos? Is that an offensive name? I don't know. Oh. Uh, oh, stream band. Not Pinot Noir? Pinot Noir? Okay, what's going on? Are we going over? Oh, oh, I think we're joining now. Oh, yeah. He understands because he does this eight hours a day. <laughs> Is it like through Discord? What? I was asking if it's through Discord that the debate was going to be or arguing. I, ca I call it arguing. I don't really think these are debates. There's like no moderator or like rules. It's kind of just blood sportsy. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. It looks like uh, the debate got too spicy. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. I thought we were going to join. We were told we were going to join. We were lied to. Oh. 
This is what happens when they just understand Christianity but don't adhere to it. They just lie to you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think Monday evening I'm going to be chatting, chatting with him and uh, Destiny and Nick. So that'll be interesting. Maybe you can join in, Brittany, if you'd like. Yeah, sure. Um, wait, so I have a question for you. You actually, like, yeah. I saw the clip of Nick saying the Semitic word at you. Like, and you were streaming on your YouTube channel, right? And you were like, oh, I'm going to get banned for this. Did he allow you to stream, like, uh, him? It was fine. Nothing Nothing happened. Okay, so yeah, like YouTube's it... definitely more loose than Twitch. Because remember we had me on, and they were like, we will ban you next time, bitch. Because <laughs> I'm banned from there. Yeah, well, I think so YouTube doesn't really... I guess they do a bit like they don't really allow a whole bunch of stuff with Alex Jones They don't really allow a whole bunch of stuff with like Tommy Robinson or a few other figures uh, Stefan Molyneux Although no, I saw Stefan do a speech at an event that wasn't on his channel and they still allowed it to go up So I feel like on like Twitch YouTube doesn't have this rule where it's like this specific person Can't appear on any of our content YouTube doesn't really have that they just have channels they ban whereas Twitch it's like oh you had Nick on your channel you had Destiny on your channel, gone. Yeah. So they're they're much harsher. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna wrap up stream and and head to real life. But Monday evening, I'll be here and it'll be a proper debate night. I know we've been we've been missing out on debate nights for a while. It's just kind of been me sitting here chilling. But I've enjoyed hanging with you all. Thanks for thanks for being here, Brittany. I'm sorry we didn't get to play the game. I never, I can never figure it out. It's okay. I, I, I kind of expect it. I ju I'm just here for the bimbo post thing. You guys can check me on YouTube, <laughs> Brittany Venti. Um, I bimbo post on there as well. Thank you for having me, Lauren. And what are you gonna debate about on uh, Monday? Uh, Western women. I guess say, women. everyone's okay. just talking about Western women. That's what it's all about. <laughs> All right. Oh, everyone loves it. It's me. It's all about me. It'd be fun to chime in. Okay. Let me know. Yeah, 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 I'll keep you posted. All right. Have a good one, Britt. Enjoy CPAC. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. That was a fun stream. I was expecting to go on. I was uh, prepared to just, like, mostly observe. But uh, I guess uh, talking about... um. Western women would be interesting. Like, I wonder, like, what the take is going to be. I wonder if anyone's going to be like, oh, look at how submissive Asian women are, or some shit like that. I should come back to this if that happens. I feel like Brittany is a 300 year old vampire. Yeah, I get that a lot. I'm actually a 100 year old one. I mean, um,. Yeah, people say I'm a vampire a lot, but like, um, actually I tried to be one. Anyway, never mind. I was too old. Anyway, um, I gotta go. Bye, everyone. No, I'm joking. I'll, I'll stay for a few minutes and, and talk to you guys since I'm already on here. My makeup's already done. Um, hold on. I need to bimbo post on Instagram because I didn't post Lila and I's nails earlier and we got a, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna call it a nail job. Like, getting a manicure? Oh, my God. We should call it that for now on. Oh, my Gucci-ness. I got a nail job today. Yeah, this Asian guy, he gave me a really good nail job. He really got in there and massaged my hands. Did a very professional nail job. Yeah, I'm I'm down to uh, call it that for now on. Always call it, did you get your feet done? Yeah, he was just all over my feet. They were nice and wet that nail job okay I'm gonna post a photo that I took of Lila and I earlier oh wait 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 I forgot to tag her la 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 yeah, heart there we go I should send her these photos cute photo I'm posting it on my um, Saturday underscore supermodel Instagram if you guys want to see I know you guys are all here for the nail picks and the nail jobs. I would never give someone a nail job. You gave some subs tonight and I'm one of them. I did? Thank you. Um, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret your choice pretty quickly. But yeah, I've been meaning to do more like argument streams because I haven't done them in a while. So this is like interesting if it just like 
falls into my lap like that. Um, you know, I kind of read that you gained some subs tonight. It's like you gained some weight tonight. Goes to show where my head is at. Um, I want, okay, so you know how Lauren stops cursing? I want to stop saying, um, I'm not going to stop saying literally. Saying literally is a personality, but I, I do want to stop saying, um, but it feels awkward to just be silent because I looked up like, what do you do to stop saying, um, um, fuck! <sighs> <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you, pal. Oh, that, oh my geechiness, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I genuinely got so mad. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, so, <sighs> okay, I'm gonna calm down. Okay. If I, if I start doing the strike system on my stream again, where we do a banned word, and if I say it three times, I go offline, I would be done already if it were the word redacted. I don't even want to say it. I don't want to give my brain the neural pathway to say it. I don't even want, want to uh, have that muscle memory. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I keep accidentally saying I'm gonna cry! I'm writing my will, because I'm about to redact it myself after that. <sighs> no, I, I can't, I can't. I can't handle this, it's like too much too much brain power. Stop saying it! Stop saying the banned word! Brecken just said the uh, banned word at me. You guys are gonna make me say it more. Also, thank you for becoming a subscriber for 31 months. Holy shit, Brecken. Iconic. Monkey had 15 $5 through chat. I have the same problem. I literally say it every time someone asks me a question. I, I literally can't. I almost stopped saying my... I, I almost... <sighs> My brain's melting. I almost said stop myself from saying literally, but I want to keep saying literally. I'm fine with saying literally, but I don't want to say the redacted word. Stop saying it in chat. I keep seeing it. Oh my, oh my geechiness. I don't even remember what I was saying because I got so mad over saying it two times now. Uh... I'm literally gonna cry. I'm literally gonna. I should just turn off the stream. I said it three times. I should turn off the stream. I should turn it off. I should just leave. I should just leave. It's working. I'm. I'm literally getting MK Ultra by chat. Like I'm getting MK Ultra by my own chat. They. You guys keep saying it over and over. The, the redacted word. I'm gonna have a melty. I already had one. I already had two Melties this stream. I'm going to have a third one. <laughs> have a jar for it. God, I wish I could remember what I was saying earlier. I don't even remember what I was saying. By the way, third stream of Helen Keller's stream because I can't hear myself when I talk with the headset on. God, I hope I don't sound dumb as shit. But yeah, like how she wants to stop saying swear words. I want to stop saying that. I don't remember what I was going to say. Are himbos valid? Um, <coughs> I'm going to add it to my band words like the blacklisted words on YouTube, I'm going to ban it. I'm going to ban the word. <sighs> uh, I'm scared to think now. I'm scared to speak because I know I'm going to say it. I know it's going to happen. This is just like with stopping drinking. It's only when you stop doing it do you realize how bad it really is.
the gamer word? No, it's it's the bimbo word. Uh. I wish I had more water. I didn't bring enough. This little bimbo cup is cute to look at, but it doesn't hold enough water. Deranged lunatic, aka DL one ninety nine super chat. You're like Helen Keller. Can you fly a airplane? Uh, yeah, I did, and that's why they kept saying I did nine one one. I don't even want to say the the term because YouTube is very anal about that. You know, I'm really surprised with how we can't say the word spaz anymore. How we can't. Like, I'm surprised they didn't crack down on anal first. Like, if they crack down on anal, that might be it for me. That might be the straw that breaks my back. That might be the Dunkin' Donuts cup that breaks my hand. I, I have to, um... I'm rolling my eyes so fucking hard right now. If I say that redacted word one more time. I'm gonna be really done, though if we can't use the word anal anymore, not in the sense of like anal sex or something, but in the sense of like, wow, they're being so anal about that. That's a legitimate word, just like the fagoot word was. It had nothing to do with gay people, honestly. Like in modern times, that's not how people typically used it. Like if we actually had a pie chart for how the word fagoot was used, it, it would be like 90%, like there would just be that little sliver that said gay people. And then the 90% would be to say, uh, coward or moron or something like that what like is there even an equivalent to the fagoot word like what's a good word to replace that like you're a pussy that's that's the only equivalent i can think of but that's how it was used and yeah and then like the one percent sliver is for a bundle of sticks five pounds to be trip from dan holland get a shock collar that goes off if you say a banned word uh, I would be dead. I would just be dead. Do you do you see what I mean? I would just be dead. I would be fried. My hair would be like lightning just hit me. Maggot? Mm, maggot does not have the... Do you, are you just saying because it rhymes? Wait... I wanted to be there to, to support Alex Jones in his trial. I didn't know this was like a event thing. Guys, I didn't know this was an event thing. Where's, where was my invite? As per usual. Anyway. She can't stop saying, yeah, I know. I start saying it intentionally. That, okay, but doing it ironically is going to give me more brain damage than I need. And I have a surplus of that, so I really don't think that's necessary. Just like if I vocal fried anymore. It's just very, very well stocked. I do not need any more. By the way, since we're not even doing videos time, we don't have anyone call. I don't have to have this on my head. Like, it's hurting my head. I feel like a cave woman when I have to put this clip in my hair because it reminds me of when cave women in the Flintstones have like a bone in their hair. That's me. I have a bone in my hair. It's a green bone. It's a praying mantis bone. I couldn't find my white one today. So I hate, I'm like really autistic about that. I hate having to mismatch my accessories to my outfit. It really bothers me because I don't have green pants on. I have white pants on. So it's like, I don't know. It just, guys, I'm just psychotic about, about color, like aesthetics. I'm, it's just like, it bothers me. Like if I were to have a nail color that didn't go with my wardrobe, that would really bother me. I just broke my newly painted nail. I tried to match my top color. Remember when I asked you guys if you think I'm autistic? Dan Holland, five pounds super chat. People have an elastic band. Oh yeah, so that was, that's what I was gonna say. Thank you for reminding me. So Nistrin did that. She had, to stop cursing, she spanked her wrist every, 
I don't know, this is how my brain works with words. She spanked her wrist every time she cursed on stream, and that's how she stopped cussing. I don't know if it's a regional thing, but I grew up with what they called it, called it curse words, not cussing. Cussing, I don't know, it's surprisingly, like you would think, because I was raised by the black side of my family, I would say cussing, because it sounds more uh, like black, but I don't know, my family just said cursing. Honestly, you know what's so funny, come to think of it? My black side of my family, okay, so here's the thing. So, so a little bit of Brittany Venti lore. So my mom was black, and, and I say was because she passed, not because she's Rachel Lozel. And so she was the lightest skin of her 10 siblings. My grandma had 11 children, and a couple died before I was born. But anyway, she, see, I almost said it there, and I caught myself, the, the redacted word and not the n-word anyway she was the lightest one because she had a different dad and so it's interesting how none of them really speak in abonics as much but like she does she did more she spoke in abonics more than they did or maybe it was just the women because i feel like a couple of my aunts did have abonics so, like the men didn't really but the women kind of spoke like sassy black women does that make sense like that's weird like why didn't the men speak in abonics as much like my mom wasn't like full-on abonics but it was like here or here or there like wash your ass you can't sweep the floor you're why are you so fucking trifling like that like that shit my mom would say to me but like it's really weird thinking about it like how the men don't have the my grandma didn't either she kind of spoke like i don't know like a baptist priest preacher like you know, Baptist preachers are like, and the Lord said, let there be rain. Like that. Like that's how my grandma spoke. She didn't speak in abonics. She spoke more like that. I don't know if that counts as abonics. Does it? But my uncles didn't really speak like that. Anyway. Jive talking. I guess it, it, it was closer to jive for the men than it was a bonix. Thank you for the 1999 Super Chat Mitzir Alpha. Get a redacted jar for your desk, I like we used to do for stopping the swears. Put silver or loose fiat every time. Yeah, but what am I going to use the fun for? And also, like, nobody carries... That was back when people had cash on them. Like, who's get, where are you getting this fucking cash from? I'm going to pay a $3 fee to pull out $20? That's, like... I don't know, like 1% of the 15% of the money that I'm withdrawing. Your mom, your grandma sounds like Samuel L. Jackson. She was very like, uh, what's the word? Where they're like, I'm just like, <laughs> where they're like, uh, high verbal IQ coming in. Anyway, I can't think of the word, like, see, I don't use this part of my brain, guys, I don't really talk to a lot of people that often, I don't use this part of my brain a lot, I mostly, I, I have a higher, okay, so you know how there's a high verbal IQ, I don't have that, I have a high typing IQ, like, I'm not Jewish enough, so, like, um, cause I'm Jewish online, anyway, like I'm Jewish like guys I have curly hair I have big boobs I'm honorary Jew anyway um you just saw my brain die in real time <laughs> hyperbolic no Vi not vindicated like like a um like someone who who goes on like a crusade what's the word ah. um like not not very like just like what's what's the word someone here you guys can all be as dumb as me come on all 300 of you are as fucking stupid as me yeah i doubt it righteous thank you stan righteous that's the word i'm looking for apparently um apparently apparently uh one out of 300 people one out of 336 people 
have an IQ higher than room temperature in here. It's a great statistic. We're learning something new every day. Your eloquence is lacking your occupation. I just fucked up the word articulation. <laughs> I think I just proved their point. They said it's waning. You looked baked. Why? Wait, I don't look... I don't look... Fucking... I don't look like a grifter. What? Shut up. Are you smarter than a bimbo? <gasps> That's a really good premise. That's like, we can, guys, we could literally make a game out of this. Like, ventiisms, and it, you ask them, like, how do you pronounce this word? If you get it right, you're smarter than a bimbo. That's really good. That, this is what happens if Brittany quits alcohol. Time to crack open that bottle, Brit. Yeah. I guess um, my courage juice, what do they call it? Liquid courage also affects my verbal IQ eloquence. Two hours super chat from Nesquik. Seems like someone deleted your mental system 32. You could literally make an edit of it. Add really useless Starbucks trivia to that. Yeah, like a, like a, like a custom drink. Like what is this drink called? And then you describe what it is. It'll be like, a chai latte with sh two shots of espresso. And then you click the button. What is a dirty chai? You microwave modder. Um, that was the old Britney. This is new Texan Britney. This is cowgirl Yeehaw and Britney. Yeehaw and Britney uses a gooseneck kettle, okay? That's how I heat my water now. I am no longer a microwave water drinker. I am proud to say I am a recovered addict. I am reformed. I have learned the error of my ways. I no longer three microwave my water. You guys know how there's four cheese? I three microwaved my water and used it for my tea. So I reform. I repent. I'm a, I'm a full grown woman now, guys. I do adult things like heat my water in my kettle and, uh, make doctor's appointments i have a dermatologist appointment i know it's a big deal right and try to get my driver's license which i haven't gotten yet but i'm still learning you know i'm an adult now that's a that's what i do i'm really bad at doing the you know thing that's my filler word it's like you know like you know and stuff <laughs> such as when I'm skinny again, I'm going to come visit you, but I refuse until I lose another 10 pounds. Why? Are you scared you're going to bring the plane down? <laughs> Sorry, Jess. <laughs> I had to, Jess, it's been so long since we've had a caddy fight on the internet. I'm living in the nostalgia right now. You know, I really don't appreciate I don't appreciate how halfway through the stream, my makeup r will rub off my eyes. And there's just nothing you could do about it. Like, you can watch 100 makeup tutorials. Guess what? When you have two specialty problems for your eyes, you're fucked. It's just like with clothing. If you have two specialty problems, you're fucked. Like, you can't have wide feet and long feet. You're fucked. I would know, because that's me. You know, same, same thing with eyes. Like, I can't have far apart eyes and have them be hooded it's over it's just over there's no makeup routine for me i've had to learn my own okay so like naturally here's why this happens okay i'm gonna go off on like a bimbo posting i'm bimbo posting but whatever okay so you guys see my eyes you see like my beautiful siren eyes that seduce you to give me money um yeah so those eyes like i tight line my eyes so you put black shit here but it's not actually black it's like dark brown because i'm grayish you don't get it. You're not, you don't, you're not a woman. You don't get it. So then what happens is because I have hooded eyes that are almond shaped. Oh yeah. That's another specialty problem. They're almond shaped. So I don't get any lid stakes. Um, so I have three specialty problems. Um, but what happens is you go fuck yourself. You go fuck yourself if you have three specialty problems. Cause guess what? Every time you blink, cause you have shit on your waterline to make it look better. And yes, it hundred percent looks better. Don't try, don't be like, Oh, just don't do that. It doesn't fucking work. The makeup looks stupid without it. So when you blink, because of the shape of the eye, like, like the top lid is rounder than the bottom. The top lid is rounder than the bottom. Can you guys fucking hear? Open your ears. So what happens is 
when you blink, it like goes here. Like when I'm blinking, my waterline's going slightly lower than right here because of my eye shape. So it automatically, like no matter what I do, there's just always black shit there. And, I, and I, I've done everything. I've used two makeup uh, setting sprays. Um, one was the setting spray. The other one was the uh, other kind. I forgot what it's called. A finishing spray, whatever. And then I lined it with... Uh, yeah, I know I said ah. Uh, I lined it with eyeshadow. And they say that's supposed to prevent it from doing that. And nothing works. Like, I do all this. I do all this. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't work. I, 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 it doesn't matter if I use eye primer. No, nothing. Eye primer doesn't fucking help. Nothing works. Like, no matter what I do, it just, like, gets black there. And it makes me look like... It makes me look like I'm a dirty hoe. Just to put it eloquently, I, I look like a dirty hoe no matter what I do. And, you know, it's not fair that God made me this way, so to speak, or my higher self. Because, or the universe, whatever you, whatever you think it is. Because, like, you can't make it so that my hair is curly. So, like, when it's day two or three, this is day one hair. So, don't be like, oh, it looks fine. It's day one hair. I just washed it today. So, God gave me curly hair, which people associate with being dirty and looking frizzy and messy and homeless, right? And then he's going to go and do me dirty and giving me these fucked up shape eyes that make it so black stuff is always here when I blink. Fucking hooded eyes. It's bullshit. Like, you can't do me like that. Like, that's why everyone always says, like, I look like I haven't showered in days. It's like, yeah, okay, I haven't, but, like, that's not why. It's because, like... My shit's all fucked up. Isabella live uh, $2 super chat. I obey. You do, because you're stupid. Yeah, submit to me like a little bitch. Dan Holland, two pounds super chat. Like. So so should I do that too? But cancel tilt? Yeah, and you, that's another specialty issue. My eyes are just like particularly retarded. That's, that's actually how it is. Because like, I also have the tilt. So it makes it so when I blink, the stuff goes here. It's so dumb. Because my eyes are like pointed up. That's what a candle tilt is. It, it's that way. It's so dumb. Like, I guess it looks cool. I guess, I guess like I happen to have it at the right time when being a siren. Doing the siren look is the trendy thing. And like, yeah, I literally look like a siren because I like look like a mermaid alien thing. But like, it's kind of fucked up that I can't realistically keep my makeup on right. I always look like I just finished sucking dick. And it's just really annoying. Like, yeah, maybe some guys find it hot, but I don't care what men think are hot. Okay? Or what men think is hot. I think I want to do what I think is hot. So, yeah, I want to I want to be hot in my own regard and feel beautiful in the way that I want to feel beautiful and what I find beautiful, which also happens to overlap with a lot of things that men find beautiful. And one of them is not looking like a raccoon bitch that just got finished sucking dick at 3 a.m. and is drunk. OK, so it's just really annoying to have this black stuff there. <sighs> They make you unique. I know they do, but not every guys, not everything unique is a good thing. It's not always good to be unique. It's not always a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing to be unique. Like guys, having having a disease that 0.1% people have is unique. Is that a good thing? No. Is um what about what about if I have like pimples all over my face, but the pus is green? Wow, that's unique. Is that a good thing? No. What if my nose is like severely crooked to the right? Is that a good thing? Is, is that healthy? Is that good? No. We live in a society where being unique is good. And it's not necessarily true. Like guys, sometimes conventional is better. Sometimes being conventional is more efficient. Like if I had straight hair, I wouldn't have to spend three hours doing my hair and being late to my nail appointment for it because there's no way to just like, oh, do some dry shampoo and run out. Like, I said like. Five dollars from Deranged Lunatic. They can't invite you to Alex Jones trial because you're a bimbo. Okay, but like, look how, and his attorney isn't? And his attorney isn't? His attorney fucking basically legal doxed him to the whole fucking world and I can't be there 
Nobody told me. Nobody texted me to be there. Plus, I just found out you can't super chat the word bimbo on YouTube. That is oppression. That's fucked up. I don't like that. Change that, YouTube. Being unique is overrated. Standing out gets you bullied. It's true. That's how I grew up. Now bitches be, like, faking eye colors to be models like that's how overrated being unique is like they straight up have this dangerous surgery done so one of their eyeballs is green so that they make money and they lie about it being like i forgot what the model's name was but she did that she literally scammed everyone was like yeah my eyeballs real i got bullied for it as a kid look how unique i am ooh woo because i have a different eye color she did the she did the literal stereotypical trait of like what someone who what what you conceptualize as unique like if you saw if you said something that was super played out of being unique like oh yeah she has like a different colored eye wow so fucking quirky wow your pigmentation is so quirky shut the fuck up so she did that she got like a fake implant to like keep up with the bit like that's how committed to the bit she was she actually got an implant that's very dangerous and has made many people blind in her eye to keep up with this this bit so yeah that's how overrated being unique is they get illegal eye implants to change their eye color it's like why wouldn't you just laser it also instead 10 hours super chat for sexual assistant is dry shampoo a new thing i heard you say port i mean like it's been around for like a decade people have straight hair can use it use just like it's essentially baby powder and you go like this and then it makes your hair dry but you can't do that with your curly hair obviously because like it's just gonna be dry and frizzy my hair's already naturally dry because it's african curly hair so it doesn't work mid-tier alpha 1999 super chat for men most genuinely attractive women are a perfect combination of imperfections yeah it's because so the biology for that is because other men won't want her but female beauty standards skew towards separate wives aesthetic to men's eternal Ch chagrin don't use don't use third greater words at me you know i don't know those what the fuck is a chagrin i don't know what a chagrin is yes guys it's african curly hair like why are you laughing like that's it's a real thing it means my porosity of my hair is different it means it's very hard for my hair to get water and then once it gets it it's really hard to get it out so it's like hell blow drying my hair and it takes a really long time versus white curly hair tends to have a different porosity and it easily just accepts moisture versus like my hair if you sprayed a spray bottle on it the water would just stick on it in like balls it doesn't like go into the hair that easily that's why it's so frizzy and unmanageable it's like an actual texture difference it's not because like i'm lazy or like i don't know how to do my hair people are super ignorant about that like why are they so ignorant My dad said I was like a baby seal down there, much to my chagrin. What the fuck does that word mean? Is it like a incest word? What is that? Shag chagrin? What does that mean? Does that mean you're trying you're gonna you're shagging? Is that what you mean? Like you fucking? Have you considered getting a weave? Why would I get a weave? You do you not see how long my hair guys my hair i know it's curly and it shrinks because i have very tight curl pattern relative to other people curly hair but like look it goes down to my hips okay it goes down to my hips you really think that that's gonna fit under a weave my braids will literally be down to my ass google it oh my god thank you for reminding me google exists Ch shay chagrin 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 how does that sound? Chagrin. Chagrin. That's a fake word. It's literally some made up shit. Never, I, never have I ever heard of some made up ass shit like the word chagrin. Or sorry, chagrin. 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 Like this isn't French. Where, where's this imaginary accent, Mark? It's in our heads. Distress or embarrassment at having failed or been humiliated. Oh, how ironic. This is humiliating. Much to her chagrin is a common saying. Where? On fucking Mars? Because I've never heard it before. Shave your head and get a straight wig? No. 
Do you know how long it would take me to grow this back? It would take me like literally like six years. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't care how psychotic I get. Like I know women, when they get psychotic, they cut their hair. I don't care how much of a mental breakdown I'm having. I'm not, I, I will always remember that that is a six year consequence. It is way harder to grow, grow curly hair. It gets more knots, it breaks off. Uh, one inch on curly hair is like not as noticeable because it springs up. It takes a lot of weight to weigh it down. Like I'm not, I'm not doing all that. Rapunzel venti arc. My hair has never been short. I've never, I've actually unironically never had short hair before. I have no idea what it's like. Like not even as a kid. I had my first haircut when I was like 14. I never had, my mom just never took me to get my hair cut and um and when as soon as I went I was like they can straighten my hair and I was like weeaboo activate I was like make me into an anime girl so I started bleaching my hair platinum blonde um I had dyed my hair since I was seven years old but I didn't go platinum blonde until I was like 14 15 or something or maybe 13 and so then I wanted them to give me like anime bangs and I want them to straighten my hair so I look like an anime girl and it looks so fucking stupid there's probably like two times it looked good. I only get my hair cut like once every last time I got it cut was in February or January. I'm about due for one. My ends are getting kind of dry and uh, it's getting more knotted when I brush it. Are you on the curly girl method? No, I, I just like brush my hair and, and uh, blow dry it wildly. Like, a, what else am I doing? What else am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? Think I'm fucking raking it while it's dry with my fingers? Like, what do you think I'm doing? Yes, I'm on the curly girl method. This curl pattern, there's no way you couldn't be. You would just have an afro. Or very, very frizzy hair. Or like a very much looser curl pattern. I don't know. Why do you have to be so sarcastic? Why do you, be, why do you have to be so fucking stupid? Why do you have to be... Why do you have to be so fucking up my ass? Like he literally... He's so... This guy literally came into my chat. And had the audacity... To ask a black girl, why are you so sassy? Like, hello? Race check, hello? You are able to ride ponies. Wait, you have to be able to ride ponies to be an anime girl? Well, that's a dream I'll never get. I'm too fat to ride ponies. Like, I know I'm like, I know I'm not actually fat, but like, in, ter in, in, horse girl world I'm fat in horse girl world I am morbidly obese like I will break a horse's fucking back guys it wouldn't be fair to the horse like I'm tall that's a lot of weight the bones alone it's it's heavy I act like a sassy gay man why don't you say that to my face Seven 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 from Completed. I love this band. The singer is absolutely my favorite. I only know thirty seconds, but you can enjoy it. Blah blah. Listen. Um, I can't see the link. I don't have videos enabled right now because I wasn't really intending to like. I wasn't really intending to talk to you guys today. I'm just like had it with you. I've talked like I've had too much of you. Like it's enough is enough. But yeah. Anyway. Uh, you act like a sassy gay man. No sassy gay men act like us. Yeah, but you know, Jess, men men always win in the end. They have to take everything from us. So, yeah. Good thing I just got here. You just got here, Calhoun. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the stream. I gotta go. Eat more pizza. Don't. Can we ban the word pizza in my chat? That's like. 
I can't deal with people talking about pizza. It makes me severely want to order. I'm going to, I'm ordering pizza. You can't, no, I'm ordering pizza. I'm ordering pizza. You can't, no, no, nope, nope, nope. I'm ordering pizza. No, I, I just order groceries. I can't justify this. Okay, I can order the pizza if someone else pays for it. If someone else pays for it, that's justification not order the pizza. But otherwise, it's not, I can't order the pizza. I just ordered groceries, but like, but also it's like, I would have to do a whole cooking thing and like, like, do I really feel like cooking? Like, mm, mm, and, and it's already like really late. I already worked a lot today. It was really hard getting that nail job. I will not tell you guys what kind of pizza I eat until someone pays for my pizza, okay? Stop asking about the toppings I get. You'll never be me, okay? You eat the pizza like me, but you'll never fucking be me. By the way, uh, Dallas has surprisingly really good fucking pizza. Like, actually pretty good. Not, I would say it's a step down from here, but pr pretty good. Better than Connecticut, except, except colony pizza, except hot oil pizza. Best pizza you'll ever have. Specific to New York and Connecticut. I don't, it frustrates me so much. Every so often, guys, I think about hot oil pizza and I have a mental breakdown. I don't understand why other places don't have hot oil pizza. This should be a default option. It should be like cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, hot oil pizza. Why do places not make hot oil pizza? What the fuck is wrong with you? It's like chili oil with something else in it. I don't know what the, the, the something else is, but it's, it's amazing. And it's on very thin crust, crispy pizza. And it's spicy. It's, it's like hot. It is so fucking good. It's, it's only two places that have it because they invented it. So it was Colony Pizza and Rico's Pizza. I think Rico's Pizza closed. But it was the same creators and they split off. So it's um, Colony Grill, Pizza Grill in, in Stanford. Now, I think it's probably the only place that has it. Unless other places, like, copied it around New York. I know some places in New York claim to have it, but I haven't tried it there. But nowhere else has it. Nowhere else fucking has it. It's bullshit. Like, I am going to go on pizza strike. I'm not going to eat pizza until they give me what I goddamn want. I want hot oil pizza. It should be an American right. This is a violation of my fucking amendments. Of my um, goddamn U.S. American rights. Okay, I will not yeehaw until I have a hot oil pizza in my stomach. It is, what is the word? It is detestable. It is despicable that these places do not carry hot oil pizza. Anyway, thank you for buying me my pizza that isn't hot oil, BM, $30 super chat. Um, here's like some um money for the um pizza, like get it girl, um. Um... Well, it's not hot oil, so I'm not going to like it that much anyway. I am going to order the pizza now. <laughs> Leapshin talks five dollars for chat. What's up, female Andrew Tate, a la Mal girl? How was your day? Don't call me female Andrew Tate. I will not be compared to Andrew Tate, okay? Not until I personally can lock men in my basement, too. Monkeyhead15199, super chat. Here, get yourself something nice something nice oh i don't even think that can cover a bullet joking youtube spectral citizen to our suitors to start off get that pizza oh my god you guys are fucking with me you know it, it like physically hurts you know what this is like when you guys give a two dollar super chat it feels like if i were looking at okay do you guys see this do you guys see how my fucking watch just like broke like what sh should i rip it off should i rip it off i don't have adhd should i rip it off because ADHD means you have autism. It's it's directly linked. Anyway, should I rip it off? Um, I said, um, fuck. I was saying... What was I saying? <laughs> what was I saying? No, wait, I, I'm serious. Like, what was I... I'm, I'm Captain Crunch right now. What was I saying? Like, I, I jokingly switched topics to be like, haha, I don't have ADHD, but now I actually don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> bite it rip it off do you think should i just cut it with some scissors wait what was i saying polish the 13th no i wasn't saying that 
autism ripping watching food. Stop! Hold on. There's too many things going on. I have to order the pizza. I have to remember what I said. I have to cut this thing off. I'm going to go on track one. I'm going to order the pizza. Maybe I can get one of the really good pizzas because I'm usually order. I'm not going to lie. It's my guilty pleasure. Ordering pizza at like 2 a.m. Uh, that's my kryptonite. So now that it's actually only 9.30 p.m., I might be actually able to order from the place I like better. It might be open. Ooh. This one looks good. This one looks good. Hold on. Wait, what was I saying, though? What was I saying? Something nice and locking me on your base. No, I said something after that. Before I switched to the, to the watch, what was I saying? Someone rewind. Someone rewind the stream. Okay, I'm typing pizza. And then watch. Say I'm a woman. I can multitask. Is that really what I said before? Ugh. I had another thought. I don't get those a lot. I'm ca I'm a cat in the hat, but hot. <coughs> You're psychotic, not me. I don't remember what the place I got for. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. Found it. Found it. Fuck yeah. Okay. Okay. Ordering it. Ordering it. Hold on. Okay, I really don't like how they like have this extra pepperoni pizza. This is, that's psychotic, stop. And they only have it in the smaller size and in, in the not psychotic version. What the fuck is that? <sighs> Maybe it's just a photo, I don't know. $20 super chat from Laughing Dog. Thank you, get your pizza, Krabby Girl, and feed and water the Britney time. Feed and wa- wait, what? Feed and water the Britney time. I don't- someone translate for me. Spectral Citizen 20 hours, fine. Thank you! Thank you for funding my pizza addiction. This is so healthy of you guys. Supporting my ha habits. Ooh! Ooh, guys, 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 guys! Okay, so they have this thing on this pizza. It's called the Reaper. I still want to know what the fuck I was saying. It's bothering me. So there is a slice on here, though, called the Reaper slice. And it's like a really spicy slice. So, but you don't know which one it is. So, like, it's actually ideal to eat it with two people because then it's like, ha <laughs> who's going to get it? And, it? and they, yeah, you just, like, die of the spiciness. But, like, I don't know. Should I get it? I'm not gonna stream it though. Unless, maybe. I might. Hold on. I'm gonna do it. It's extra 250, but I'm gonna do it. And oregano, because I'm fancy. I could just put my own oregano on it though. Yeah, I'm just gonna put my own oregano. They charge a whole 70 cents for that. Like, I'm not going to give you three quarters to put some oregano on it. Like, guys, if you were physically holding three quarters, would you give that to someone to put oregano on your pizza? No, you wouldn't. Nobody would do that. Not even, especially not a homeless person. Wait, wait, wait. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I want to know what I was saying. It was about $2 super chats. <gasps> Was that it? Oh, yeah. So thank you so much, Caleb. Thank you for being literally the only person in, in Google account. Thank you guys for being literally the only people with a human IQ in this chat. Okay. So, I mean, aside from Mitzir Alpha, because he's a VIP client, of course. So giving me $2 super chat and Monkey Hat, who just gave me a $2 super chat. What it was like getting a $2 super chat like this. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Okay. So... Getting a $2 super chat is, I should order the pizza. No, but if I get the Reaper slice, that's literally gonna ruin one of the slices though. But it's fun, but it's fun. It's okay, it's fun. I'll just order an appetizer. Should I get a Caesar salad or a house salad? You guys know how I feel about salads. It's literally like the same energy as a Diet Coke. It's like, fat people food like i'm pretending to be skinny i'm i'm live action role-playing being skinny even though 
I'm, I'm mixed-sized, okay? No, nobody's buying it. Nobody believes you. Uh, no. Thank you for the $20 super chat, Wookie, but ba the, b be bad. Wookie, be bad. Okay, Zay said with $3 super chat, margarita or diavola? What is a diavola? I don't like margarita. I went off about this already. Like, it really triggered me that I went to a pizza restaurant. I ordered pizza. A $2 super chat. Hold on. Okay, I'm literally going to utilize my notepad at this point. Okay. And, um, okay. So, I'm going to order the pizza and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address that. So I'm, I'm going to keep not ordering it, and it's going to close because it's getting late. What the fuck is this? No, they don't even have mozzarella sticks. Like, this is psychotic. This, is, this should be illegal. They don't have mozzarella sticks. What is that? What is that? They have salads. Listen, I know I don't go to the pizza restaurant for a fucking grilled cheese sandwich, but, like, I mean, a, a grilled chicken sandwich, but, like, have some options. Like, what if I need, like, 1.5 of a pizza? Like, why, why is it that I have to order a whole pizza and then have nothing else as a side? It, it doesn't make sense. Do they have garlic knots? No! No, they don't. They have, they have salads. They have salads. Can you believe this shit? A pizza place with salads. I don't go to a pizza place for a fucking salad. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll have a side of Caesar dressing with my pizza. Like, unless it's a buffalo chicken pizza, I really couldn't care less. I mean, they literally do sell Blue Ranch on the side. Funny. And they sell ice cream. They're literally like, we know you're fat. You're ordering pizza at 9.30 p.m. We know you're a fucking fat ass. Maybe I'll get this. No, but I don't want the 14 inch. They don't like their options here. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Wait. Should I get... Look, you can put pickles on the pizza. Ooh, caramelized onions on a pizza sounds interesting. It, it, it's giving French onion soup. I kind of like that. But I don't know. On a New York pizza, though, like, a New York pizza, I feel like it's just... Best... Oh, yeah, so I was going to tell you my pizza toppings. That. So my favorite pizza topping is pepperoni, but it's not because I like pepperonis. I actually couldn't give, give a shit about pepperonis. It's actually just because it makes the cheese better. It makes the cheese more stretchy. So that's why I get pepperoni. If they would just make the cheese pizza good, like how the pepperoni pizza is on with the cheese, then I would just get that. But I think it's something to do with the oil. See, there's like, I'm on to something about oil and pizza. Like, I'm telling you guys, hot oil pizza is God tier. It, it's like it's worth traveling over like i would honestly fly to connecticut just to get hot oil pizza i'm about to just order two pizzas because i really can't stand this i really can't stand i really can't stand them for not offering an appetizer i i can't stand them Tell me why it's $55 to order two pizzas and one's like not even an 18 inch, one's a 14 inch. Tell me what, I, I can't make this shit up. Like, I don't even, I can't even show you because it's like going to show like every information I have. Look, 53.88 if I give the lowest tip. Like, why is it, why is it, why are two pizzas, one being a smaller pizza, $55? Fuck inflation. Fuck Joe Biden for this. Fucking... I just chipped my nail. I just got a pedicure. No, no, it looks ugly. It look. It literally looks so ugly now. Oh my god, it looks so bad. 
I shouldn't have peeled it. Fuck. And it's, I have, I'm not going to show you my feet, but I have dark colored nail polish on my toes too, so it like really looks bad now. I just got it done today. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm ordering pizza. Why are you tipping? Because I don't want them to spit my fucking food. I'm sorry that you like gargling spit. I'm sorry that you literally like deep throwing other men's liquids. But I, I don't unless it's a special one. I don't want to deep throat random men's fluids, okay? Okay, I ordered it. Okay, now... Now we can circle back to what I wrote down. So $2 super chats. So, and I just got a $1.99 super chat from Mitz here off. Does anyone else super chat with a thesaurus? Yeah, yeah, apparently everyone does. Because they feel, because you guys feel like you have to man joke at me. We talked about this, made a TikTok about this. You guys are man joking at me. You guys steal my jokes and then you're like making it better. And like, then I lose credit for the joke. Like this is stolen valor. This is stolen valor. You guys are so sad that you have to like, try to be funnier than a woman i mean like how much more pathetic could you get like the bar is so low and yet you still have to try to compete with me honestly it feels so bad for you i pity you anyway stop man joking at me let me make the jokes anyway um but that's why they have to use fancy words to me sorry my lips are dry Like, how can the bar be so low and you guys have to try so hard to try to be funnier than women? It's honestly fucking pathetic when you man joke at me, trying to compete with me, trying to make a better joke than me. Eat shit. Swish and swallow. Okay, so. Ow! I got my tea. You know what? Did I get it off? Is it off? Okay, I think it's off. Is that a thing now, man joking? Yeah, because I said so. So, $2 super chat. So, don't donate another. I'm telling you, do not give me a $2 super chat because this is literally the same as if I went up to a hobo. You know those, like, rolls of pennies? Those, like, rolls of quarters that you get from the bank? Yeah, this, or, like, when you're poor and growing up, like I was. Okay, so those rolls of coins, this is like going up to a hobo with a roll of coins and just, like, getting a good handful of it and throwing it as hard as you can at the hobo. That's what you guys are doing when you're giving $2 super chat to me. You're like, oh, yeah, this is a hefty sum. Mm. Like, that's what you're doing. You guys want to hurt me. You guys are trying to hurt me. <laughs> Thanks for the 99 cent super chat from Monkey Head. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll add $2 super chat. I'll send as many $2 as I want. Oh, it hurts. Stop. It hurts. I literally like, dance for me, hobo. Dance. You're like, you're like picking it. When you give it to your $2 super chat or $1 super chat, you guys are like taking each penny out the fucking coin roll and just trying to aim for my fucking eyes oh did that one hit your dick oh did, did that one i say dick metaphorically i'm a dick on a metaphysical level because i'm high I, i'm big dick energy oh oh did that hit you in the fucking eye hope it did bitch two dollars super chat from video what about throwing my money at hobos okay well like you know i can't comment about that on youtube Hondo two dollars super chat. Here you go, hobo. Ah! Tomorrow at two dollars. You can't stop me. I'm dodging it. I'm dodging it. You can't. You guys can't catch me. The two dollars super chats. I'm. I'm like fucking ninja. Don't you? Don't you know how black people are in ath in athletics? Like. Okay, we have the best athletes. Some of the best athletes. You're never gonna get me. Like, watch. Ugh. Dodged it. $20 from Nesquik. Wait, I think I actually added extra zero. Oops, sorry. <laughs> See? I manifested that. I, I did that. That was me. I did that. 
Wait, I have to edit the stream title. I'm gonna be like, Lawrence Southern drags me into Destiny debate and then bails. <laughs> it sounds so bad. Greased up deaf guy. Same energy. Venti, you never done a sport in your life? Yes, I... See, this is the problem with you guys acting like you fucking know me. You don't fucking know me. You don't know me. Like, I, what are these assumptions you guys make about me? You guys make the worst assumptions about me. You know, just because I haven't gone outside in, like, three days outside of getting my nails done doesn't mean I've never done a sport in my life. It means I'm busy watching YouTube videos. No, but, like, I have done sports, like, with my net. Anyway, I've actually done sports, like... I'm a sporty girl. I can, like, jog for three minutes. That's, I'm a, I'm a sporty girl. I only cough three times. No, actually, though, I have done sports, water sports. I can't stop. I can't stop. $50 super chat from NVIDIA. I'm not falling for your mind games, Britler. Damn, you got me. You, you, I've been, guys, I've been bamboozled by nvidia 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 really got me though thank you nvidia by the way electric violin uh very happy about that i think i think um the problem is though like i don't know how to tune an instrument so like that's kind of like the stepping stone of like me attempting to use it it's like i don't know how to tune this to use it because i have no sort of active musical talent like i have really good music taste i could like so i have to do the thing where like people have no musical talent do it's kind of like youtubers um you become a podcast host right so that's what i do but like for music it's the same thing you know for the musically talentless what do you do do you play an instrument or make music no you become a fucking dj duh it's like it's like becoming a late night talk show host you have no you're not funny so you just have you you know you have other people on Obviously, I'm joking because Chrissy Mayer is funny and other people are funny. But, but, generally speaking, that is something a lot of people that are talentless do opt to do is they become like, 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 um, what, what do you call it? What, what's like a good term for it? Someone in chat's bound to know. Like, what's a good term for someone? They like, they can't, not quite like a leech, but like it is leeching to some extent. But like, there, there has to be a way to describe this. Like someone who can't like create their own but they use other people's talent as a conduit to to supplement that there has to be a word for that i'm like deaf right now um mid-tier alpha 199 super chat almost didn't dodge that one have some silver lady duck <laughs> bm 10 dollar super chat throwing 1000 pennies at the bimbo hobo that's not a penny that's a bill 10 dollars a bill you you spooked me there and then mid-tier alpha, 199 super chat, she's reading these. One flew right past her. I'm going to get bruises. Being a woman is a sport. Okay, it's hard work. Yeah, Jessica, I couldn't agree more. Like, for real, like, do you guys know that when I clicked the go live button today, I could have broken a nail. Like, you guys know I just got these done. Like, I risked it all for you. I risked it all for your entertainment. Parasite? No, 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 not like a parasite. There has to be, like, a way to, like describe this concept like we just don't have a word for it in english i think but i think we need one a piggybacker a democrat reaction channels <sighs> yeah i think there's just not really go like these words are accurate but they're not really describing the full concept in my opinion i don't know they have to like use talent as a conduit deranged lunatic two dollars ah, that one hit me in the head i didn't know bimbos were good athletes yeah they are do you know why my right arm is bigger than my left one do you want to know why because this is the arm i use my credit card with and by my credit card i mean the nearest male <laughs> five dollars to check from nvidia i used to play if you really want help i'll send you stuff yes please i don't know how to tune a violin i might have to buy one of those tuner things when I've attempted to play music before, I think that's what I'd do. Wait, I have a keyboard. Could I use that to tune it? Like, if I figure out which note's on the keyboard. Yeah, I have a keyboard and don't know how to play. Um, as we saw on the other stream, like, two months ago. I still have not improved. Anyway, um, maybe I could, like, do it that way and kind of, like, figure out how it's supposed to sound. Drew Thompson, $2. To those 
definitely hurt. To those who can't, those who can't teach. That, yeah, that's a really good term. That's a, yes, that is perfect. Yes, those who can do, those who can't teach. That is exactly what I mean. Thank you. Who be super trying those? Dream Labs, check my DM. Yeah, why are you guys why are you guys using Super Chat instead of my website? It's like you're it's your first time here or something. Like you guys know. Like that like you're new. Ask me how I know you're new. Like ask me how I know you're new. And ignore the fact that like monkey had super chat. Ignore that. Ignore that spectral super chatted. Um like you guys act like you're new here. Like you guys never been to a fucking live stream before. Like what you're super you're super chatting? Oh, sorry. I didn't know you like uh, Google fucking me in my ass. I didn't. I didn't know you like paying paying Google instead of me. Thanks, guys. So it's, like, it's not like I have a. It's not like it, there's a big ass message here on the screen that says tip your message at BrittanyVenti.com. I. I don't know. Maybe it flew off the screen for the past hour or something. Why you guys are busy throwing two dollar super chats at me? God, it's even worse. I'm not even getting the full two dollars hit in my head. I'm getting like a dollar fifty. I like throwing away money. Ask Chrissy. Okay, Nvidia. When you give a two dollars super chat and you say you like throwing away money, that's like someone saying I really like drawing art, and then they show you a fucking stick figure doodle. That's just what you did. That's what you just did at me. Just oh yeah, sorry to dodge that one. BM two dollars. Did I hit her? No. Dabbed, dabbed on. Don't get don't get read to an hour later. That's not true. It, they're on autoplay right now. They get read. Actually, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna only read the ones on my website out loud. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna pop on a screen. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just. I'm gonna read it in my head. I'm not gonna say it out loud. It didn't pop up yet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> People just clicking on the stream are like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, is she retarded? <laughs> okay, so we addressed two dollar super chat. So two dollar mar margarita pizza super chat. Okay. Margarita pizzas. No, it's a scam because you're just paying for less ingredients. Why is it that? Tell me why. Tell me why at, um, what's it called? Anime Matsuri at the, at the restaurant. Tell me why on the menu they had no option for cheese pizza. Like, no option? Not a single option for cheese pizza? Like, call me fucking Epstein, but like, I want some fucking cheese pizza when I go to a fucking pizzeria, an Italian restaurant. Do you know what they did have, though? Do you know what they did have? They had a margarita, a margarita pizza. And I ordered it, and I was told by my table, the people were sitting, oh, it's the same thing, same thing, same thing. It's, it's basically a cheese pizza. They, have, they don't have cheese, they have margarita. Okay. They put the pizza down. There's no fucking tomato sauce. What kind of psychopath eats a pizza without fucking marinara tomato sauce? What the fuck is wrong with you? They had tomato slices cut on the top. It's not even like, oh, they didn't have marinara sauce. No, bitch. They decided to cut the tomato up and put it on top of the slice. That's fucking psychotic. Like, if I wanted that, I would go eat some fucking mozzarella sticks. Why the fuck? Why the fuck would I want a pizza without marinara sauce? Like, unless someone has a rare allergy to it and you offered it as a side option, then maybe I'd get it. But no, their default pizza was a margarita pizza. I swear to God, guys, like, I'm not even bulimic. I wanted to throw up my food and go eat something else. Like, you guys ever have food so fucking, like, just not what you want? It wasn't even particularly bad pizza either, by the way. But I, it's very rare I can't finish my food, and I couldn't finish it. Like, I'm not particularly picky because I have a lot of allergies, so it's like you get what you get, 
but I couldn't even finish it. It wasn't even because it was objectively bad. In fact, a lot of people might say it was objectively good because it's like thin crust and good cheese and everything. But like it just seemed pointless without the marinara. Like I literally wanted to go throw it up and reset my calories. Like I wanted a caloric refund. I, I swear to God, I wanted to cash in a fucking caloric refund. I wanted a calorie voucher. I wanted to eat something else. It's like this, this like, yeah, I just cashed in my 800 calories for what? For unsatisfying pizza? For diet pizza? What the fuck is a margarita pizza? It's a diet pizza is what it is. Piece of shit. Never eating it again. Hate it. $2 from BM. Uh, I know pizza, cheese pizza has no tomato sauce psychotic. Yeah, okay. You almost got me. You thought you were slick. NVIDIA, thank you for the $50. I told you, I won't fall for your mind games. But yes, you can use your keyboard or use a tuner app. <gasps> That's so smart. I forgot about those tuner apps. Or your computer, play the notes. P.S. Enjoy your new pinker ki kitchen stuff. I do enjoy my pink kitchen stuff. Thank you. Did you get the thank you note thingy? They sent, when people buy things off your wish list, they send you a little note saying who sent it. Like the, if, if they added a message, you can opt not to. And then there's a little thing you could scan to say thank you. And I scan it sometimes. Um, when I don't lose the note. I'm going to throw my change at her until she reads. Okay, I read it. Stop throwing it at me. $5 super chat from Dame Time because he loves sucking Google's dick. From the stoner community, do you dab it? I've actually never done a dab before, even though I did smoke a lot when I was a, a teen. Like 18 to 19. And then I dropped it. I kind of like cold turkey it. 199 Super Chat for Mitzir Alpha. The tip I sent her on site 20 minutes ago. No, I'm going through all of them right now. They're all on the same page, guys. Throwing a... Oh, you read that. That. Reading these. Blue pass. I dodged that one. I dodged that one. Okay, I think I read all of them. I think I got to all of them, right? Why are my lips peeling again? I just applied, I just applied lip stain to it. And it's like, this is, this is literally rigged against me. My lips are hired by the government and they're purposely clicking the dry lip button so to sabotage my live stream because I know I'm too I'm too funny and charismatic like they hate to see a black bitch make it okay so I actually got to all the things I was saying because I was getting like too distracted by multitasking Do you have a retainer? No. I've never had braces or like a retainer or anything like that. I've also never had teeth pulled out. I've never had like any serious dental work except for cavity fillings. And the last time I went to a dentist was the first time in seven years. And it was to get my teeth clean. It was a year ago before I moved by a, uh, a dentist getting trained in New York because the New York college is right there, NYU. So they actually have dentists that are learning to be dentists and they're and they're watched over by their supervisors of course and they clean your teeth for cheaper for people who don't have insurance so that's what i opted to do and um hence why i didn't get my teeth checked in seven years and i was like, expecting like a lot of ca uh cavities i was like oh my god this is it you know you know when you don't go to a doctor because you know something's wrong but you don't want to know you don't want to find out that was me so i was like i'm gonna have 100 cavities and he cleans my teeth he's like nope not a single ca cavity and i was like hell yeah so yeah doing good so far i am due for another dentist uh teeth cleaning though get calzones next time I, I, no because calzones make me want to drink though they make me want to drink i mean i might do it anyway but anyway maybe i'll break my rules samo thank you for uh tuning in uh five dollars pizza without tomato sauce and cheese why don't you just um 
like you know why you say that Samo? it's because it reminds you of the christ cookie you know how they give you that dry ass cookie and have the audacity not give you wine afterward i had one of those ones that shit choked me out for 30 minutes i was i was i literally couldn't fucking talk i was choked out like begging my mom like hoping she could read my lips to like go to the smoothie store because they didn't even offer water not a fucking drop okay i went to catholic school for a week and then i dropped out after that i'm not joking i actually i actually dropped out after that like i i returned to like regular public uh school this is a middle school like I, I was like i can't do this it's too fucking weird like there are statues everywhere that creep me out that i don't understand there's like a dead guy on a cross like i it freaked me out i did not like it it felt very spooky to me it felt very it was giving haunted so i i didn't like that it felt very culty and um i don't know just something about the way they particularly did it at this it just didn't feel correct it just i guys i had you have to understand like now i feel fine if i walk in a church or whatever and i understand something conceptually i i've studied some aspects of catholicism and like the fallacies people bring up against catholicism which are always dumb they're always like oh you pray to saints or whatever like dumb like no they they ask for the saints to pray for them like all this stupid shit so that's why i looked into catholicism because i'm like there's no way a whole religion, like, one of the most popular re religions, the OG Christian religion, is going to be like, oh, yeah, we're going to break this, like, obvious rule we're not supposed to break. Like, it didn't make sense, so I looked it up. And so now, though, I don't have church phobia. I used to have really bad church phobia. And it w I know you guys are probably like, oh, you probably got, like, molested in a church. Then. No, like, I, I never went to a church, like, ever really until, like, my mom got remarried. Or, like, I guess the, the, yeah, my mom got remarried. It was the first time I've been to, like, a church, like, inside a church when I was, like, 10. And then the middle school thing. And then I didn't go to a church again until I was, like, 23. So I had really bad church phobia. And I, I had never been in one. Like, nothing bad ever happened for me to feel that way. Like, I just, oh, actually, I was baptized, if that counts. So maybe that's where it comes from. I remember very, like, I don't actually remember, remember it, but I remember a feeling I remember when I got baptized, I was literally like a toddler. I have a photo of it. I was like three years old and my um, dad's side was there. And I don't remember it actively, but I remember a feeling of like, like not a good feeling getting baptized. And my mom told me when I got baptized, like I kept saying like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Like I was in a trance and I was like super young. Like I don't even know if I was at the age where I'm supposed to talk and i must have been like three three four years old and i'm just like in a trance and like freaking out and I, I remember being like very freaked out i remember that and i remember not feeling good and so i had church phobia and so i and like literally for no reason like my mom when i was like i don't know like seven years old she would like because there was a church by where we live she would jokingly like take my arm and like pretend we're going to church like she's like come on Brittany we're gonna go to church it's like tease me and then I would like flip out crying like putting my weight on the ground so she couldn't drag me I was I would like freak the fuck out if she tried to bring me and like that's why I never went so like I had really bad church phobia like I literally felt like I couldn't breathe in churches it literally felt like I don't know it, it, it just did not feel good but it doesn't happen to me anymore. I'm fine. But it was really bad. Yep, vampire. No. You have a phobia of boredom. <laughs> I have I have an, I have other weird phobias, but I don't talk about them on purpose because if I disclose what they are, you guys are going to like uh give me a mental breakdown, so I'm not going to talk about it. I don't have the normal ones like the only normal one I have is like heights I guess like falling fear of falling like motion sickness I get really motion sick so I feel like it's a little more logical but um yeah I don't have like the like spider phobia I don't have a phobia of snakes I know my mom was scared of snakes I don't I'm not scared of snakes um like I don't have those type of phobias like I'm not really scared of the paranormal anymore because I was just like oh I'll just like believe it's not real and therefore it's like like it, not real in the sense of like I believe there's an afterlife but I, I don't feel like I'm gonna get attacked because I, I feel like I fucked with a lot of things and nothing bad ever happened I think I'm like I don't know maybe I'm like protected or something or maybe it's not real who knows but like I don't have phobias like that so much 
just be cringe yeah i have cringophobia so true but yeah you just like choose just like don't believe in ghosts and then they can't attack you duh and ironically like i guys you know okay okay so here's a weird one i'll tell you one that's weird mod lila where is she there she is hi lila there you are your hair looks so pretty thank you lila um, Lila was, was uh, over earlier after she dropped me off to uh, get my nails done. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I, feel like, I feel like if I say this, you guys are going to use it against me so bad. So, yeah, basically, like, you guys know that, you know, after the whole incident. Oh, wait. You guys want to know the phobia. Okay. So, my phobia. Okay, one of my phobias is sleeping like i know it sounds like psychotic um but like i'm not a vampire stop saying a vampire in chat it's like distracting i don't know why anyway um i actually do have a phobia of sleeping because like i don't know i feel like you like die <laughs> when you sleep i don't like it i don't like i can sleep good if i'm next to someone because it feels safe but if I sleep by myself, guys, because you have to keep in mind, I, like, dated straight for, like, eight years without, like, having any real gaps being single. Okay, so I, at a young age, so I became accustomed to sleeping next to someone, and when my mom was alive, I slept next to her whenever I wanted. So, like, sleeping by myself is still really hard. It's, like, easier than it was a year and a half ago, a lot, lot easier. Um, and there have even been cases where I sleep next to someone and, like, I'm fucking annoyed with them. I'm like, I kind of want to sleep by myself. But generally speaking, like, if I'm synergized with someone, I prefer to sleep next to someone. It makes me feel safe to sleep. Like, when I'm by myself, I don't feel safe to sleep. Like, I don't like sleeping. Like, I like girl napping. I like sleeping as a concept of, like, relaxing. But I don't like the act of, like like that I, i'm dead or something like i don't know it just feels like you're, you're you're clocking out like you're not in this reality anymore it's like you're in world two and like it creeps me out to be in world two and so i don't really remember my dreams that often it's like super rare um and i think that's why i think i like suppress it because sleeping scares me like and i really struggle to fall asleep sometimes because of it it's spooky i think i think i think sleeping is creepy Sleeping is creepy. It creeps me the fuck out. Mitz here off a 1999 Super Chat. If dentists give you anxiety, there's a movie about a Nazi orthodontist called Marathon Man from the 70s. Thriller or horror flick depends on your phobia is good flick. No, I don't have a phobia of the dentist. I just, like, couldn't afford it. Um, it's expensive. And it's, like, if you have... Because, guys, it's not like, oh, it's a few hundred dollars. Like, no, bitch. Like, if you need a root canal, do you know how much that is? Uh, it's a lot e-girl whose bit is having too many phobias <laughs> thanks marv no it's it's not that I have too many i just have i just have some weird ones that are um they're they're a little unusual and i, I didn't really realize it until like you, you talk to other people and they're like oh i'm scared of spiders oh i'm scared of falling i'm like oh i'm like scared of sleeping it's it's a little bit it's a little off but whatever oh when i was younger i was like scared of nukes like i used to dream about nukes going off i don't know why e-girl e-vampire i'm 2022 lestat i'm gonna tell the world that we want to come out because i'm tired of sleeping alone you see, I cannot be forsaken because I'm not the only one. We walk amongst you. I think it goes like feeding, raping. Must we hide from everyone? That one, that one from Queen of the Dam, it's like the intro song, I think. Yeah, I think that one's the intro song. Um, that's literally me. I'm going to warn the world about vampires. We need to do karaoke. I need alcohol for that. You're cringing so hard. Do you have a knife? 
put it away nicely. Okay, Drew Thompson, um, why don't you, you keep typing you're cringing. Why don't you cringe the fuck out of my chat? Why don't you fucking cringe your ass out of here? Need help? Do you need help cringing your ass the fuck out of here? You can cringe somewhere else. Sounding like an alcoholic? No. Okay, you know what someone who does karaoke sober is called? An attention whore. Do you know what karaoke is called when you have alcohol? A good time. Listen, I want alcohol culture to be like more stigmatized. I think we should chill out with alcohol. I think I drank, right? But like we need to chill out on it. I think it's a little too prevalent in our culture. Every fucking thing we do at night involves drinking. We need to chill it out a little bit. With that said, doing karaoke correctly involves alcohol, period. You guys are out here LARPing, like, as if karaoke is more fun sober. Like, cope. Cope. No, you guys have me on here for fucking three hours having to tell you how to correctly karaoke. Like, it's, it's fucking, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, you don't know how to fucking karaoke? Two sixty nine from Tiana Laylor. What's heavier, a kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? Um, your dad. Um, have Lila on? I would, but I'm about to head off. Like, also, Lila doesn't use Discord. Lila, get on Discord. Cause like the thing is, when I have people on. I have to use StreamYard. And then when I use StreamYard, you guys don't understand because you don't stream. Okay, so here's how it works. I'm going to explain the technological side of why I hate having people on. Okay, I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it. So when I'm just streaming, you guys, you guys saw Lauren earlier, Lauren earlier be like, that's too tacky for me. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not doing that. That's why. It's the same shit. It's real. So like you would think in 2022, we would have like easily like usable technology for streaming. And it is easier than it was 10 years ago when I started, but it is still a pain in the ass to do simple shit. So for example, if I have someone on, it's easy if it's just voice, discord it. Discord call, easy, easy. But if I have to involve video in it, now that's a whole new thing, because your camera, well, if you're turning your camera on, you're also streaming, your camera needs to be used for the stream, so then it won't work for other applications. So then in OBS, you have to go in and enable um, something called a virtual webcam. So then you can use it for other applications, because it basically simulates your camera. Right, which is what Lauren had to do in order to show her cam on my stream today, which she didn't feel like doing because a bunch of technical bullshit. The click around it makes the stream have an awkward silence. So that's annoying. And secondly, if I want to do it the other way, which is have people on StreamYard where they could just click the link and we're all in there and we're getting the audio and video feed. Here's the problem with that. So if I do that while I'm already streaming on OBS, I have to go capture that window. Okay, and when you do window capture, if you adjust the size of it, it fucks with it on OBS and it'll be like off the screen and shit or like cutting in the middle of it and you can't see shit. So it's really just a fucking hassle. It's really annoying to go through all that. So how I make it easy is when I do Internet Girl podcast in episode, for example, and I have someone on, I do it through StreamYard and I have to make it so it's a future stream and I have to do it through StreamYard to create that stream so it streams to that stream because YouTube's weird. It's not like Twitch where just everything goes live on the same thing. Um, you have multiple live streams planned on YouTube. So I have to do all that. It's just, a, it's just like, it's unbelievable how hard they fucking make it. And then don't even get me into like the more complex stuff like when I have you guys on. Like I have to have mods help me with that because it's just too annoying. Do you do intermittent fasting or time restrict eating? Yeah, I do. I do it like almost every day. Um, usually I don't eat until the evening. We love the nail salon. Brittany is my nail salon bestie. Yeah. Lila will literally wait until, like, if I have to go without her because I, like, break a nail and I, I just traveled or something, I need to fix it type of thing. She'll literally just wait. She, this bitch got the strongest nails I've ever seen. Like, her shit, it doesn't matter how grown out it is, her nails are always perfect. Mine are just, like, breaking left and right. Hasn't broken in the past month, though. It's a new record. I think my nails are getting stronger. Or maybe it's because I cut them shorter now. Because they're, like, 
They're not as long. I don't like when they're too long. It just feels like it gets caught. In, I'm too much of a tomboy. Like, I don't grab guys. Like, other women, they, it's not, um, this is not a, I'm not like those other girls, but because I, I do wish I was like those other girls in this, in this way. But when other girls grab something, right, something delicate like this, they're like that, right? It's like very, like, like very, very, I can't even fucking mimic it. It's like, like, it's very soft. It's very, it's very delicate, right? Um, biotin's a scam. Um, but when I grab it, I'm just kind of like that. Like, I'm, I'm very, like, fast and jerky with my movements. Like, I think that's just how my body naturally is. Or it's because I brain damaged from, like, a migraine or something. I, I actually think that. Like, for example, my left side's a lot weaker than my right. I actually think it's brain damage. So, like, same thing with my verbal IQ. Like, I used to be really eloquent when I spoke when I was younger. And people would, like, it was, like, noteworthy. People would mention it. But now I speak, like a bimbo I, I literally think i have brain damage so um which is like crazy that like i still manage to be more intelligent than some people like that's crazy um i need to stop saying um anyway yeah so i just don't i'm just not like uh delicate with my movements like i just kind of like very harsh fast angular movements i think it's also my body type like because this shit okay because this is a real thing i wish i had water so this is a real thing guy wait 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 doordash oh shit they're here hold on i think so keeps body types they say different body types look better um Um, they say different body types look better in certain poses. Like if you're rounder, you look better in certain poses. And your body will naturally move in a certain way. And I think mine just happens to move a little more like, like, you know, like I have to like, what do they call that? Like isolations? Like I, that's just not, like look at my hand, watch. Like I can't smoothly bend my finger. Like, you know, you can do that with that finger like that. I can't, like it's just very jerky. I don't know. I'll be right back. I need to get my pizza. I don't, I don't know what to play to entertain you guys. I don't know. I'm just like deal with the silence or something.
and gentlemen I have gotten the pizza it is a reaper slice pizza as you can see here so what that means is sorry musicals playing what that means is a reaper slice is a piece of pizza that is very extremely spicy I've had it once before and uh, I was pouring uh, the nearest milky substance in my mouth for 30 minutes straight it was bad uh, it's really really bad it's like anything you think of like oh it's gonna be bad this is worse so I will be eating one of, one of the reaper slices um, I don't know which slice is the reaper slice um, but I'm gonna hope it's not the one I eat because I'm not gonna finish this whole pizza on my own so I'm gonna go get a napkin and we're gonna go ahead and uh, risk our lives for this stream do it for the content I am risking my life. Not actually, wait, 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 not actually YouTube, not actually YouTube, stop, it's, it's a joke. It's like literally just spicy pizza. Really spicy pizza. Maybe I will drink after all. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to drink to like get the spice to cut. Does that work? Wait, 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 wait. I'm on the thumbnail. I'm fucking on the thumbnail. I bet it does. Does liquor stop uh, spicy food? Yes, it does. I was on the thumbnail. How do I know that? How did I just instinctively fucking know that? I'm so smart. Um, you guys are saying no. Okay, tell that to Google then, smart asses. Go tell it to Google then. It says... Booze can trick dissolving any capsulicin, whatever the fuck that is, in your mouth. So swallow that, bitch. Okay, Reaper pizza. Hopefully it's not fucking cold. I'm gonna have to like heat it up if it is. That's gonna be annoying. good ready if I need to cut the spice um it says on the pizza box to use table vinegar um I don't know what that means but I have distilled white vinegar I'm gonna hope that's the same thing I don't know what the fuck 
table vinegar is? Like, what does that mean? I'm gonna look it up. What is a table vinegar? It's white vinegar. Okay, cool. So I have two things I could use for that. Pour the vinegar in here, pour the shot in there. Lo and behold, the Reaper pizza. All right, wish me luck guys. About to eat an extremely spicy Reaper slice of pizza on stream. It, I don't know which spice has the, which spice, which slice has it on there, but I'm hoping it's not the one I eat on stream. Okay. I need a screenshot of the pizza. Um. There we go. It's weird that I can't hear anything else. The headset. Uh, 199 super chat from Monkey Head 15. You're hungry. I'm already sweating. This is gonna be so bad. I am hungry. Oh shit! Knock me in the head with that 199 and dodge it. Nvidia five dollars. Don't drink the vodka. You'll lose your bet and make it worse. Listen. Listen. I am eating this pizza. All right, it's tweeted out. All right. For the pizza gets cold, let's get to it. Okay. So logically speaking, guys, so you're opening up the pizza like this. If you are the person putting a, um, I don't know what those crumb things are on it. If you're a person putting the spicy stuff on the pizza, which do you use? Like which, wh sorry, which pizza slice would you put it on? For me, if I was putting on it, if I'm putting the pizza in the pizza box, I would probably put it on these three at the end or like one on the side. So I'm willing to bet that this first one over here isn't the Reaper slice. So I'm gonna eat that one. Damn it, it's kind of cold. Okay, we're safe. It's not this one. I want to go heat everything up. I'm sorry. It's just like too cold. It's like gross. Like, I hate that. I hate cold pizza. It's so fucking gross. Like, I want stretchy pizza. What the fuck is this? What the fuck do they think this is?
am heating up the pizza. I had to um, clean my air fryer because that's the fastest way to do it. It was just more time efficient. Me and Pete, Brittany will go to Europe for pizza, Italy. I need to get a passport. You just reminded me. That'd be fun. I'd like to do that. Um, 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 um. Did I miss any super chats while I was gone? Two dollars from BM Pizza Time. More like duck time. Mid tier alpha one on a super chat. <laughs> I like literally flinch at them now. Dunkin' Donuts moo lattes are great for spicy food. I think cows should be called moo moos. Nvidia five dollars. You don't want to do it without talent juice. I see how it is. That's right. Brittany, tell us three top pet peeves. Um. People, okay, people, and people, <laughs> no, um, three pet peeves, let me think about it, so, um, people getting hungry, that's really annoying, um, yeah, cats are called meow meows as well, I agree, Lila. Um, number two is men who drink Starbucks and number three is men who drink chasers like that's feminine behavior all of these are feminine behavior um, also like when people are fat because like I don't want to be in middle I'm from New York okay I walk I walked everywhere I don't want to be in the middle of walking somewhere and then someone's like, I'm tired. Like, it's not even, like, a legit medical issue. They're just, like, fat or something. Like, I'm tired. Just the fuck up. Okay, my feet don't even fit in shoes. I have to constantly have my feet get crushed by my shoes because they're too long and wide. And they don't make shoes in size 11 double wide in pretty style. And then they're like, I'm tired. Shut the fuck up unless you have an actual medical emergency or medical issue. Ooh, it's done. slices of pizza the one I already bit wasn't the reaper slice it wasn't the really spicy slice so I had to get two new ones I couldn't put like the third on here I could have put the old one on here but I didn't um okay moment of truth I don't I took okay so strategically I'll tell you what I did I took one from all the way in the back in the center because it tends to be a people who are either right-handed or left-handed so you're gonna go for the sides and then I took one that was left of the center because I think they're they're going to put the spices on one of the side ones. So we'll see if I'm right, if my strategic, if my strategy is correct. Okay, we're good. We're good. So that means it's really hot. So that means it's not this one either. Because the oil would have dripped onto this one if it were. And I would have tasted it. Because it's really, really spicy. It's bad. Yeah, it's stretchy now that I air fried it. It's a lot better. I 
didn't burn it. I improved it. Kind of like how you guys do it, my jokes. When nobody asks. I mean, I shouldn't be eating this with white pants on. Yeah, it's only one of the slices that's the Reaper slice, and I don't know which one it is, but. My other strategy was smelling the, spi the slices, like, to see if they smelled different, but n there was no distinction. If I don't get the reaper slice tonight because I can't eat the whole pizza, I'm going to literally offer the slices to someone else and then not tell them. <laughs> you got a reaper dud? No, I doubt it. Because they put it in a special box. It says reaper slice box. How is that Texas pizza with you being a New Yorker? It's pretty good. Surprisingly pretty good. Okay. This is the other slice. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if it's the slice. I'm really hoping it's not because I'm really hungry. If I end up getting this Reaper slice, I'm not going to want to eat We're safe. Okay. My strategy is correct so far. My high IQ just made it so that I didn't get the Reaper slice so far. It's so boring. Find the Reaper slice and get on with it. Weren't you fucking complaining earlier too? Talking about, weren't you the guy saying cringe in chat earlier? Did I tell you to get the fuck out? Like he's heckling me in my own chat. Where's Petals? I don't know. Oh, there she is. She's like laying on the floor, staring at the floor. <laughs> Just doing cat things. Okay, I'm gonna go get the other slice. eating earlier so I'm okay so I'm air frying one more slice that means there's a 50 50 chance that that one is the reaper slice I feel like it is I don't know why but I feel like it is but you know what I'm really happy that I got to eat a good three slices before the reaper slice because if I had got that one in the first three I wouldn't have been able to actually eat that would have been kind of skinny, but like, you know, I want to enjoy this pizza. It's really good. I 
I didn't smell that slice, okay? So it's fully blind. I don't know which one it is. I don't think that there is a different smell, but anyway. I hate that they're, the slices are so wide. Like, how do you eat that? Let's bet on what slice it is. I mean, I would if the pizza were actually hot and I could just pick, take it out of the pie box, but it's like cold. It's like, you know what, chat's right. That's what I get for tipping DoorDash. That's my fucking get. I even clicked the express option. She ate raw liver, give her a break. Give me a break. Oh yeah, I don't eat pizza crust. I think it's like horrible. I think it's cardboard, even when the pizza's good. There have been very few times I eat the pizza crust. I just heated this slice up. I I don't I I just I'm scared I'm scared like because the odds are no longer in my favor, and my and my strategy kind of falls through. It's like yeah I know the first slice in the front will probably be safe because that's not where they would put it. If I'm going to put a spice on a slice, they wouldn't put it on the all the way back one in the center because people don't tend to move like right in the center. And I picked one on the left of that. And that's how I got the three safe ones. But then this one, which one was this one? I don't remember. I think it was next to the first one. So yeah, I'm like kind of scared. Cause guys, you don't understand. It's really fucking bad. It's literally the spiciest thing I've ever tasted in my life. I don't think it's this one though. Cause that pepperoni wasn't hot. We're back in business. I didn't get it. I'm so I'm so good at this. I'm so good at knowing which one is it, isn't it? I was like, it's gonna happen because like it seems ironic if it would, but I was like strategically picking it. I'm so smart. Went the left be a safer option because there's less, less left-handed people. That's smart. That's true. I think this was from the left side, but I don't remember. I don't remember wh where this one was from. It was next to either the one that I picked middle in the back or the one in the front. It's Because the last time I got it, it was on, like, one of the sides. I think it was on, like, the left side. I, th I think. I don't remember. Brit is having twins. I'm going to claim that energy. Like, it's not true, but I wish it were. You're left-handed. Lila, I never noticed. You're left-handed? That's literally a disability in some states. You're doubly disabled. the pizza is so good you're, you're jealous you're fucking jealous it's like nice and greasy you're so fucking jealous okay pet peeve people okay i'm sweating right now because it's literally so fucking hot in here my ac broke so fuck off literally broke today um people who literally are up my ass no people i forgot what i was gonna say 
Fuck, I forgot. What was the last thing I said before I, before I was gonna go off? Oh, remember. So I forgot now. Oh, yeah, yeah, BM knows me better than myself. <laughs> $2, keep the change. Thanks. Um, people who do the fucking napkin thing. Like, it's like you hate good pizza. It's like you have terrible fucking taste. It's giving psychotic. Like, how... You're gonna tell me you would take this pizza and put a put a napkin on it? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I would love some xenoestrogen with my pizza. Thank you. I would love some xenoestrogen with my pizza. And, and it being less good and less cheesy. Oh, yeah. Who, who did that? Like, literally a fucking germaphobe did that or something. What do you call those people? There's a word for it. Like, some psycho did that, and everyone at lunch followed. At lunchtime, in the cafeteria, everyone, when they have a pizza day on Friday, everyone would get a napkin out and, like, soak up the oil. It's like... Do you do that to your fries, too? Or... Fucking mentally ill. No. It is. It is autistic. I'm sorry, but if you don't like extremely greasy pizza, don't come to New York then. Don't, don't come. Don't come to New York then. Because there's nothing here for you. Because we have the greasiest of the greasy pizza, and that's why it's the best. Yes, celebrating the pizza. Celebrating that I didn't burn my tongue off yet. Okay, should I do one more slice? I'm fat. That's why I'm able to eat that much. I'm a former fatty who lives a skinny life now. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I like how on the pizza box they write on the fold on the front fold like flip me like as if like someone's too fucking stupid to figure that out to, like flip the box over like to flip the to open a pizza they can't figure out how to open a pizza this doesn't even work as like a like I, I have pizza grease on my face Wait, that worked. Well, I actually have oil um, pads for this. Where is it? There it is. I have oil blotting paper. So this is called oil blotting paper, and it does exactly what I was just doing, so watch. You see that? Pizza grease. Mm. No, it's not actually pizza grease. It's just like I, I'm hot and it's making me sweat a little bit in the hot pizza. Three dollars super chat by Uncle Bones too. Thank you for the super sticker. It's a cute little cartoon. It's the last thing I see before I die from eating this slice. See, look how clear it is now. I'm scared. I'm I'm terrified. I'm gonna be so fat after this. I should just go to all the pizzas and like 
put my tongue on it like i should just stop heating them up and just like take a bite out of each one cold and gets and just gets this slice. like actually maybe that guy had a point i'm gonna go do that my strategy i specifically segregated the piece i think it is it's for no other reason other than me being uh, intuitive or schizophrenic i picked the one that was like two away from the center on the left i left that one out i think it's that one okay i heated this one up if it's not this one i'm gonna bite a piece of each one and then um and then i'll yeah Okay, we're safe. We're good. Hold on. If it, I'm going to be amazed if I actually was correct. Like, guys, if I was actually correct about which, which slice was sus, I'm literally psychic. Okay. one i think it is for no reason other than women's intuition i think it's this one i think it's this one i don't know why this this i just my my metaphysical self is telling me this one is a piece of shit that one over there so i'm gonna eat that one last i want to just see if i was right but but my strategy did work go for the ones on the outer on this end and this end not the ones in the side that was a good strategy We're good. We're good. All right, guys. This is the last one before that piece of shit one over there. Let's see if I was right. Okay, guys. I'm psychic. I'm literally psychic. I'm literally psychic. That was the one. That was the spicy one. I literally win. I shouldn't even have to eat it. I correctly guessed which one was the spicy one. I correctly guessed it. And... I'm, you know, I'm, I shouldn't have to eat it. I shouldn't have to eat it. I actually managed to guess which one it was. So. Test it? Okay, I'm going to test it. This is true. Like, what if actually it was a dud? All right, guys. But I know it's a spicy one, so I'm not going to try to bite too big of a bite. guys called it there's no reaper slice i think it's in the other pie but this one says it's a reaper slice it even has a warning on it look 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 no, no no look it's not the other pie look it says warning it says warning look that's not on the other pie guys i'm gonna i'm literally gonna show you There's no warning on this pie. There's nothing. It's not this pie. God damn it. Guys, they forgot to give me a reaper slice. They literally forgot. You see, I'm not playing, you guys. You guys can screenshot it. Read it. It was supposed to be a reaper slice. It's not my fault. Shut up. You 
you know, I try to be nice with you guys and have a fun little game. I didn't even want the fucking Reaper slice. I was like, oh, I just want to enjoy some pizza. And I was like, no, I'll take a risk. I'll do it for the lols. And then I order the pizza, and then now you guys are yelling at me for a mistake that they made. I paid an extra $2.99 for that slice, okay? I was not trying to not get the $2.99 value. Literally fucking... Biggest plot twist of all time. That's what I get for trying to be nice with you guys. Still complain. Like, was, like I created the damn pizza. Oh my god. She switched the pies. You saw! You saw the fucking pizza box. The other box is smaller. You couldn't physically fit that pizza. The pepperoni one I was eating that was supposed to be the spicy one was the Reaper sliced pizza. It is an 18 inch pizza. The other one is a New York pepperoni, I believe, or a New York cheese, and it's a 14 inch. So you couldn't physically switch the pies. It wouldn't fit in the box. You guys, that dummy can't do basic math. One ninety nine search chat for mid tier off. You did some David Blaine switch off camera. No, I didn't. I manifested it because I didn't want to eat the slice. But like, still, it's not my fault. This all this none of the slices were sus. Thank you, lonely confetti sus slice. Yes, thank you for three dollars. Oh my god! I can't believe the chats. I can't believe you guys are blaming me. I cannot believe you are blaming me. For a mistake that they made. They wasted my two ninety nine. In fact, I have to go on DoorDash right now and complain. Be like, hey, did you give me back my two ninety nine? You made you just late for deeper slice. How many people have they done that to? How many people have they done that to? I think I feel like going through their app and fucking complain. I don't feel like doing this. Like How did I cheat? How would it be possible to cheat? You guys can count the slices. How many I ate, how many were left. You can't physically fit the larger pie into the smaller pie. <laughs> Hashtag Reapergate. They owe you money if you didn't, didn't get the slice. Yeah, I know. They owe me three bucks. I want a bet. I want a three dollar bet. Guys, I even ate extra calories for you. I ate an extra slice that I didn't want to eat. Just to try to give you guys what you wanted. And you guys are yelling at me. You guys are yelling at me. I don't deserve this. This is abuse. I should break up with you. Uh. I blame the Pete suits in your honor. I'll burn down nearest pizza place. I'm not BLM. I'm just black. Would it be in the first bite? They put it too close to the center, then it contaminates the other slice. You might be on something. You might be on something, but I don't recall that being the case last time. I recall that be I was like, I think like 30% through a, a slice when I did it. I had like one big bite. It's not in the second box. They didn't put this fucking sticker on the second box. Unless they did and didn't put the disclaimer. I'm pretty sure they could get sued for that. One ninety nine super chat from Monkey Head because he loves being abusive. I expect my one ninety nine back for the stunt you pulled. I expect one hundred dollars ninety nine for the amount of therapy I need from the, all the abuse I'm going through right now. This is literally like domestic violence. I'm gonna like tweet on Twitter about it. I'm I'm gonna hashtag me too. You have to eat all the pizzas? No, I'm not fat. I'm not. I'm formerly fat. I'm not gonna do that. I'm. I already feel fat after eating all that. Like I, I that was like more than I wanted to eat. Like I, I, f I physically feel uncomfortable with how fat I am right now, from eating those slices. Well, 
Anyway, I'm gonna leave. Enjoy your night, guys. I'll enjoy my Reaperless night. Good night. Follow me on Twitter. Um, cause I said so. Like, no, 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 I'm serious. Like, I'm gonna sit here until you do it. I'm waiting. Open the app. Open the app on your phone. No, I'll wait. I will wait. I will sit my black ass right here. I'll sit my black ass down on this fucking seat. Perched and percolated on this fucking seat. Until you follow me on Twitter. And on Instagram. Both my Instagram accounts. And you have to check out my Patreon to join my community Discord. If you like chatting here, then you'll like it more offline. Not restricted as much as YouTube, anyway. And... My TikTok. You guys don't have TikTok. But I use TikTok. It's funny. And psychotic. But yeah. Also, I have a new, I have a new tier on Patreon since, like, the past month. You want to check it out. Bye! Go on my socials now!